Are we ready to say goodbye, boys? Are we prepared to bid farewell to the dirtiest, luckiest RNG I've ever gotten in my entire life, I'm pretty sure? I think that, without a doubt, quite literally, the run that we did yesterday was probably the luckiest thing I've ever experienced when it comes to what is this song I whatever that sound is I don't like it all right boys join me in saying farewell all right so this character uh, we are deleting this character because this is there, there is just no way that this is representative of the actual Bo League Start experience, okay? I, I know that I wasn't, like, good or anything at it, and I don't know what I'm doing. But there is no way that this is representative of it. Between finding, like, multiple good bows, right? Multiple good bows, like this one first that we got, right? at like level, I don't know, like 37 or something, this ridiculous monster of a bow. Um, you know, like 264 LED DPS, 336 total DPS at like level 37 or something. And then we made this one immediately afterwards, which is 454 DPS towards the end of the campaign. We found a five link in what, act eight? Um, I mean, ridiculous, right? So this character, is uh getting deleted hey boys the youtube stream oh is it not live my bad my bad my bad my bad my bad sorry there's lots of hoops that i have to jump through in this whole thing all right there you go are those bows that rare though are they usually just hidden by a loot filter I would say that those are pretty rare. I, I would say that those are pretty, uh, pretty gaming bows. All right. Should be good. And we have the wonderful, uh, the timer. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. The timer is back, boys. Should name this one Big Luck. Yep. Ooh, let's see. Solo cell phone. Crucible. Swift and silent, Less luck this time. Yep. Alright, boys. And so it begins. So this is going to be a shorter stream today. Um, if I can get the campaign done by being fast, I'll get it done. But this is going to be a shorter stream today. I've got a bunch of, like, admin stuff that i got to do, and... Yeah, sometimes when I move the microphone, it just randomly cuts out. So let's hope that it doesn't do that this time. <clears throat> so anyways, um, I was speaking with a, the, a new Comcast person on the phone. And uh, they're like, yeah, the, the person you're talking to before has been out of the office for a couple of weeks. And I was like, oh, so that's why he fabricated an entire conversation, right? And she's like, hi, I don't know about that. But yeah, he's been out of the he's been out of the, the building for a couple of weeks. And I'm like, are you going anywhere anytime soon? She's like, no, I, I, I'm not going anywhere. I'm like, OK, good. <laughs> Can't wait for her to have some random, uh, some random horrific problem. Oh, sorry. Talking with your third rep now. 
she's been out of the office for weeks now. Okay, dude. All right. Here we go. Okay, so we know a little bit more about bows now, thankfully. So we'll be a slight bit better off. Um, we're not going to be significantly better off because I still am not a racer and I suck at this game. But it is what it is. Ran this build last night to Act 5. Yeah, I mean, the way that it, it, it works pretty well, honestly. Like, the, um, the strats that we did use yesterday seemed to work out pretty well. Was enjoyable was a good leveling experience. Um, like I said, it's gonna be a shorter stream today. I still do have to take Goob to work, but um, I've got a bunch of stuff I gotta take care of later. So if we can get the campaign done today, that'd be great. Um, if not, it is what it is. Hey, what's up, Dexon? Oh, I missed, cause I'm bad. Rustic Sash and Wool Shoes and a Crude Bow. Hmm. Oh, we always get that Crude Bow, actually. That's a guaranteed drop, I forget that. All right, do we identify these boots, these booties? Do we identify the booties? Lightning arrow good? Uh, seemingly. All right, so we will grab Galvanic arrow, replace burning arrow, sell all of this stuff. Okay, right, I'm gonna identify it. Ho oh, ho ho, it begins, boys. What's up, Rick? It begins. I don't think we want anything here. Um, can I afford? There's only one iron ring. Only one iron ring, and it's blue. Yesterday, I feel, was just not representative of an actual. Okay, but it's an armor scrap. Damn. Yesterday was just not representative of a um of an actual SSF run. I feel like I I just feel like it was way too lucky. Why is all the good stuff terrible color or terrible uh, lyrics, by the way? Okay, so we can't actually buy anything else. All right, we go. No chance of less luck. It's end of league RNG now. Just got a nurse from a stacked deck. Nice, dude. All right. And so it begins. Hey, what's up, science OP? Science is OP, dude. It's just crazy. All right. So we are gaming, and it is gaming time. Yo, what's up, yay? Yeah, I, I randomly got a call waking me up this morning from Comcast, and I was just like, ah, oh, they're, they're actually gonna contact me, that's crazy. So, yeah, I gotta deal with them later. They're supposedly sending a technician out um, at some point, I don't know when, but I can already tell you what's going to happen. The technician's going to come out and he's going to be like, oh, hey, dude, what's up? It's been a couple months since I've seen you. <laughs> and I'll be like, yeah, what's up, man? I think his name is Jason. <laughs> pretty sure that's the, uh, pretty sure that's the name of the guy. Yeah, for sure, man. Energy Blade League Starter win. Um, probably when I am six feet under cold in the ground, most likely. Probably around then, I would imagine. We know if they're returning arrow passive is coming back um we don't know it's most likely going to be coming back in some nerfed way spellblade though i mean like we kind of talked about on stream yesterday uh, unless that spellblade damage percentage is like 200 percent i'm pretty sure that gym is just dead on arrival uh we're doing lightning arrow because i want to get a i want to get like a time and i want to get a actual basis for running the build that isn't the most ridiculous rng i've ever seen in a league start so yeah that's what we're trying to do here i'm frozen good yep chain frozen good because yeah if it's like chance to return that's great like um i think that that's gonna be awesome it'll be good but uh if it is just gone or something along those lines then yeah pretty rough um lightning arrow was played plenty before um before vengeance cascade was even functioning so it still works without it um i think no i don't need to buy anything there 
So yeah, it should be fine. Um, and I'm not making this for you guys most of the time. Stack deck opening one. Oh yeah, I do have the stack decks. Someone, um, is it? Are 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 you the one that? Uh, are you the one that messaged me on Discord about opening the stack decks? Yeah. So if I have time here, because we got into uh, we got into league start testing stuff, so I should maybe have one day free. We'll see. Yeah, it's like ten thousand stack decks or something. We'll see if I have time. I'm not 100% certain because that's a lot of stacked decks, but we'll see. If I manage to get everything else done, we'll do that. Yeah, League Start Testing started up and now I'm in very much League Start Test mode. I do have a controller, yes. Let me grab my item, bro, please. Okay, I need... I'm oh, not for yet. Be careful with that explode node because it's a 5% chance. It's a very low chance to explode. That's the main thing that's wrong with that node. Can you please compliment me? Um, Your name is very XD. You seem nice. Your hair looks good today. Hopefully that makes you feel better. Where is this last one, dude? <laughs> nice cock, bro. Three driftwood. Oh no, driftwood wand. Yo, where's the last one, dude? I didn't want to follow the like water connection. Do I already have it? Am I trolling? I do already have it. I am trolling. All right, cool. Classic. I'm level four, so I don't need to kill these, but I feel like I want to. All right, Paul Amulet's okay. It'll help our mana a little bit early on. And we can put this on. We can try and kinetic bolt leveling. I'll, I'll do it, okay? I'll do it if I have time, but I don't know that I'm gonna have time. I'll do it if I have time. That's the best that I can say, okay? You gotta, you gotta send me a full POB, all right? I need a full POB with everything all the way through, okay? Oh yes, Yo, Daddy. Ivory. The grind must go on Big Just Pet Douglas. Thank you for the 19 months, gamer. You already pet ducks in the chat, so I appreciate you more than the rest. You did it correctly. See, chat, that's how you properly sub the Big Ducks channel, okay? You pay tribute to Duckless. Good job, gamer. But yeah, I need, I would need like a full, okay. I need a full build guide, like a full 100% of build guide. Not a, not a build guide, I need like a POV, right? I need, I, need, I need something if you're gonna make me play kinetic bolt leveling, okay? And I'm only gonna do it last. What's up, Ash? Meant just use it for Act One. Oh, you mean like on this build? Hmm. Maybe. You know what? I'm not doing it. What's next build after LA? Most likely Cold Up. Um, yeah, but yesterday's RNG was absolutely filthy, and I wasn't timing it. I was kind of learning, and RNG was just. Filthy. So we're redoing it because, yeah, we need a more realistic representation of how this build feels. Damn, I'm going all the wrong directions, dude. Every single wrong direction possible. Okay, we can use Mirage Arrow now instead of Momentum. How high is the dot cap? 35 million? Something like that? I think Burning Arrow is still good for a mapping build. Eh, probably not. Probably not. Burning Arrow has just gotten nerfed way too much. You could probably manage it for some basic stuff, but nothing like super powerful. Will Bill Bills be asked in the Vengeance Cascade will surely be gone? Surely. 
Yo, this is a bunch of blues. Um, I think bow bills will still be fine. Uh, they just won't be as giga broken as they were this league. But I'm making this, I would be playing this for me. It would be one of those videos where I'm like, yeah, I'm playing this, uh, do at your own risk, right? Uh, do I kill even more blues? And there's been so many blue packs here. I don't even know if it was worthwhile to kill all those. I got a bag over my head, dude. Like the true murder hobo that I am. Um, we don't know what that support scales to, so it could scale to 50, it could scale to 60, it could scale to 30. Um, we don't know if they're moving it or not, we'll know in two days. I'm getting stun locked at range, good. Oh. My favorite, I love being stun locked at range. Love it. Got some speculation around the new Sentinel of Radiance. What do you think? I have no idea how to even begin to speculate that. I think it'll probably be some buffing type Sentinel because of the name, right? Radiance. Um, that's the most that I can imagine. It'll like provide damage to nearby allies or something or other like that is the best that I can even imagine. All right. Okay, that's a good bow. We just need to find something with a green green link. Well, it doesn't do exactly what Vengeance Cascade did. Keep that in mind. That's the reason why I think that it might survive in some capacity. Okay, cool. Nope. That's the reason why I think it might survive in some capacity is that it doesn't do exactly what the other one did, right? Because Vengeance Cascade is attacks only, whereas the new return projectile support is all projectiles, including spells. So it's not exactly the same. So there is some small chance that it might stick around in some manner. But we don't know. I've seen so many blue packs actually. Kind of crazy. <laughs> Ball lightning return projectiles, yeah. Already got baited once on that. Only once, shame on you. I'm gonna do a. <laughs> Did it really catch your name? Okay. It's very unfortunate that the color black in Spanish and that word are essentially the same. You can do a bunch of our leaks, our guide? Uh, potentially. It depends. It depends. Um, if patch notes completely destroy it, then no. If patch notes do not completely destroy it, then almost assuredly. All right, let's see. I probably grab Trapnel Ballista and Sniper's Mark here. Make dash as well. I'm going to need to sell some stuff. Sell all of this. I don't care about that. Don't care about that. Don't care about that. Don't care about that. All right. Do we have some good links here? Green, green. Ooh, green, green, blue, but I can't buy it. Of course I can't. There are no other links. You're really going to do this to me? Really? Why is everything an armor scrap, man? Or an orb of transmutation or it's something garbage like that? Why can't you just oh, wow. actually give me links? Hey, what's up, donkey? How's it going, gamer? All right, so here we probably grab added cold damage. We also need faster attacks, um, but we need sniper's mark and we need faster attacks. I don't have a transmute. I don't have anything to put any of that stuff in. All right, uh, actually, I'll just vendor those. Okay, so we will use dash for a little bit. We'll use all of those. That's fine. I need more links, man. I'm getting, getting kind of link starved here. Getting kinda link starved here. I've had the best experience with Ignite and Lightning Caster in PoE, that's Stormbrand Arc. 
Um, casters in general are typically a lot more comfortable than attack builds are, especially if you are a newer player. Can confirm that yours was the most filthy RNG ever? Yeah, dude, it was it was absolutely disgusting, man. Like, it was <laughs> it was absolutely unethical. Like, I, I need a I, I need like an actual representation. Because if I'm gonna league start this, I, I need to know what it's gonna feel like when it when it's not the most disgusting RNG imaginable. Right? I need links, dude. I need literally anything, because I need to be able to put shrapnel ballista down. I would like a movement skill. Please, can I move? Yeah, absolutely disgusting. Doing my own at the moment, Act 3. Nice. More testing while testing. Am I really not going to get it? Really not going to get any links whatsoever? Come on, give me something, dude. Give me something. I'm about to kill a rare mob, dude. In desperation, trying to get some links, brother. Dude, I have like all the orbs of transmutation in the world now. Which is good, but... Okay, it's a green. Can't even use it till level nine. I, I just I need I need links, dude. Not red, 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 please. Come on, greens. Give me the greens. I'm gonna go back to town as well. Now that I've leveled up. I'm gonna open this up too. Come on, man. Have mercy on me here, game. Just just give me anything. Hope this wasn't asked 50 times, but there'd be a level tree somewhere. Wanting to start bow for a few leagues. You're starting to be going super well. Um, so, okay, there we go. Three green. Let's go. Um, yeah, so I need imp. Shit. Yeah, so I will put in um I will put in a tree for this if I end up league starting it or such. I'm gonna put a video in regardless talking about this, right? Like, I'm going to put a video in, no matter what, talking about the uh, the experience here with a basic tree. So you don't have to worry too much about that. Uh, Mirage Archer, added a cold, and then we swap to this bow. And then I need just anything, really. I just need to be able to put Shrapnel Ballista in. And then hopefully, hopefully I can get maybe, like, something. Is there something here? I leveled up. It's all armor scraps, dude. All of the all of the gear that I actually want is all armor scraps. Every single one of them. Yeah, I'll put something in there. Oh. Say for some money to swap in a big TS. Yeah, for sure. You could do that. But yeah, I'll I'll put something in there. Uh like the basic POB. I'll just um I'll credit going for helping and then I'll just put a basic POB in there with that information in it. All right, what did I end up putting this on? I think it was here. I would like to be able to use Sniper's Mark, um, but I haven't really found. I need gloves with more green links in them because I kind of like having the blue, blue, red helmet for a little bit from now. We'll see what happens. I wonder if the meta shape clip will be drastic for the next league um probably not after seeing a lot of the support gems i'm not super expecting things to change drastically immediately maybe after a little bit when stuff is figured out but not immediately hey, what's up anima how's it going gamer yeah i i don't expect things to change like it's not gonna be like immediately you know everything is different league star builds are all different it's, it's going to be very similar leaks our builds to what it already was um because content creators are not going to feel safe recommending you a bunch of random new shit because that's always a bad idea pretty much every single time sapphire ring i stop stop camping the door dude probably not this way anyways but it is what it is yeah um so yeah the the problem is going to be that we have no clue how most of this is going to work with the new gems right like the trauma gem we need to at least see them yeah and we can probably make like guesstimations and stuff but as it is right now we know essentially nothing yeah you know? 
so we have to be careful. Return of Lycia Unique should make for a lot of changes. Yeah, those should make it so that there's like more builds to play and things to do. But yeah. Quite sure of yourself, How come everybody? Everyone, every single person. I don't know, because Lightning Arrow is pretty cool. Um, it was a good build last league. Any guess when we can get patch notes? Thursday. Yeah, it was a good build last league, and there's no reason not to try it, you know? I would like... I'd like a little bit more. Lightning Arrow is just kind of like a solid league start ability for juicers. So yeah, like, we know that the patch notes are coming on Thursday, but we don't know exactly what's going to be in them. something good it's not exactly something good but thanks let's see didn't really get anything i need like green gloves hold out ellie versus lightning arrow very very different builds with very different purposes hold out's gonna be like a safer like a bossing type build um lightning arrow is gonna be like a juicer map clear build um We'll grab Blink Arrow. If I have room for it, I'll put it in, but... Okay, get rid of... I'm gonna identify these. 10 movement speed, life, and armor. I hear Goob's alarm going off in the other room. Pretty good. That can be my red, red, blue, so now I can use a helmet. Uh, patch notes are not until Thursday. Now I can use a green helmet if I can find one. An armor scrap again, man? Why is every single helmet a damn armor scrap? Every time, dude. Actually insane. Yeah, patch notes are Thursday in the US. Um, if you are out in New Zealand lands, then uh, they're gonna be on Friday. Yeah, pretty much. Um, and even if Vengeance Cascade gets neutered completely, right, uh, it should still be fine in general for just like the league start and the early mapping experience. Because most of the time, you're not even going to have golden oils to swap into it anyways. And when people league started with Lightning Arrow, they, they didn't even have golden oils, right, to, to be using Vengeance Cascade. And they still played it and it was still fine, you know? All level 5 requirement armor is now a scrap, it's really annoying. Till act 2 then it's transmutes. Yeah, it's very frustrating that every, every single good armor piece from the vendor is an armor scrap, because it's like, I, I just, I don't have any of those. Another sapphire ring, okay. Well, Mervail should be easy. Hopefully. Can't move, dude. But yeah, um, Vengeance Cascade is just very nice, right? Like, it's it's obviously a, a very good point to take. Uh, no. I already have three green. What was your rarest drop ever? Um, I found two Headhunters in one league. One was just, like, an actual raw drop, and the other one was in a Ritual. I'd say that's probably the luckiest that I've ever gotten. Yeah, I saw I saw the the thing from Exile. I played in Wilds. Or a build you make makes it feasible to play on the controller. Um, something like RF is probably going to be the most feasible controller build, I would say. A Frost Blank or War Banner. Um, yeah, I could grab those now. I didn't have a lot of funds the last time I was at the shop, um, but now I do like I found like two or three transmutes since I've been walking so I should be able to go buy a couple of things but I was going to wait until I was at the next area did I not grab the waypoint that would be annoying later 
yeah, I didn't even have wisdom scrolls. Like, I had nothing. I had no wisdom scrolls. I only have one wisdom scroll at the moment, and I found that one recently. Um, I didn't have wisdom scrolls. I didn't have transmutes, but I found a couple just recently, so. So, yeah, I had, <laughs> I had literally nothing. Uh, so, yeah, kind of rough. Biggest RNG moment was when Mage Blood got introduced. I got one from Gwynnon. Yeah. Yeah, I could sell the alteration. I also just found that, though. Like, I went from nothing to all of the currency in the last couple of minutes, essentially. And yeah, I can sell it if I need to, but I don't think I'll need to. I think I have enough here. Right. Yep, I used up all my RNG, but now I have stuff, so... I did, I did get movement speed boots literally off of, um, I got them off of Hillock. They dropped from Hillock. Okay, can sell those. All right, uh, uh, mm, anything good? Three green gloves that I can buy? Probably not. Nothing. Okay, so we should be able to fit Frostblink now, which is good. Uh, war banner. I don't have a scroll. So you're saying I should sell this for scrolls of wisdom, right? Even though I have four transmutes. Actually, I think I, I think in this case, since I have so many transmutes, I think I sell one transmute. Because I have so many, and I only have one of those. Okay, we'll grab that. I need to grab faster attacks as well. Can't use it yet. Rain of arrows instead of Galvanic. Mirage Archer added cold. Um, and then I can grab Lightning Arrow just to level for later. And then I think I'm good. So I can sell these. I won't use them. I might use that. Okay, I think we can just go now. Buy Pierce? Ah, oh, yes, Pierce. That is the thing I forgot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello. I knew there was one gem I was forgetting. I don't have room for it yet, but it is what it is. Oh yeah, I guess I should have volled my lightning arrow, huh? I forgot about that. I should have volled my lightning arrow while I was leveling. Just at the chance that it procked and gave me the ball version of it. Chill. Ball anywhere is not very good. Yeah, but it would have been cool to have it at least. Leave me alone, really. I think they nerf RF or Jug in any way. That build is already bad, in my opinion, so if they nerfed it, I'd be very surprised. Because the thing about it is, is like, RF is not a powerful build, yeah? It's not a powerful build. It's a very good, lazy build that doesn't require much interaction. It's not a powerful build, by pretty much any means, yeah? So if they nerfed that build, like... <sighs> it would be, it would be just a straight, like you are playing the game wrong nerf, right? Here's for added cold versus lightning fire. Um, stat requirements, cold damage is good early on. It's a green link. Yeah, we scale our damage mostly off of just the raw Ellie damage on our bow. Did I go the wrong way? I might have went the wrong way. No, I went the right way. We scale the damage, like the raw Ellie damage off of our bow, and added fire is off of fizz damage. And yeah. You don't get added lightning on the ranger? Really? For real? That's kind of crazy, honestly. My damage is so much worse this time.
damage is so much worse. I don't have links. Like, I don't have a link for, um... Previously, I think at this point, I had two, three links. Um, it's not really the bow here. I had a pretty crazy bow early on for sure last time, but... Um, my bow is okay. It's a short bow with, like, some fizz and some fire. I'm frozen. Oh, I didn't recurse. The big problem here is I just don't have links. I probably should have swapped. The thing about it is that I don't even have another two link, so I haven't swapped, um... My Reign of Arrows over to a two link. Or I would. But yeah. I probably should have just forced the swap for this. Okay, now I have a two link. That works. Yeah, um, okay, now I have it now I have a two link. Uh oh, and it's a good two link too. Alright, where is oh, just shrapnel bliss is just gonna go in here. I can put Ellie damage in there as well. Chlorine drop, I wouldn't use it. I'd probably have to swap builds. Like, Chlorine is good for sure. But, um... Yeah. I had no Iron Rings. The vendor didn't have any at level 1. Um... Yeah. Or level 2, whatever you want to call it. It was just rough. My early RNG was uh, was significantly worse this time, so I didn't have any iron rings. I can actually go check now. I have a few more wisdoms. We can see if we can grab and yoink up some iron rings. I did get two sapphire rings. Um, okay, there's some here. Uh, actually, do I want to buy that? It's just cast speed. I'll just buy one for now. I'll just buy one for now. That means that I can use a blink arrow if I need to gap something. I think I have everything else already linked. Okay, so that, 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 that. I probably want to keep that. I need to start identifying stuff soon. I start LA, I think the purchase prior day one is Prison Wave Rage Setup plus Yoke. How hard is it to get tamings early? Are those rare? Okay. I'm doing it correctly this time, boys. Um, I could probably go a little bit more damage. Tamings are like 40, 50 C. So that would be like third or fourth priority then because you'd be going like six link chest piece and then a bow and then maybe like finishing out your basic gear and then maybe going tamings or something right some kind of order like that i don't know is this a teleporting bear I have pierce in that link? Yeah, I do. Okay. I need to swap. Actually. Right? I need to swap. Mirage Archer, Reign of Arrows, Cold Damage, Shrapnel Bliss, the Pierce. Because I want the three link on the Shrapnel Ballista, right? Laser to portal, go to the next waypoint, back to town, take your portal, and get the get den quest done. Oh, okay. Well, I think it lets you exit, right? Like, you can walk out at the end here. That's so not super terrible. I just see what you have planned for the next league. What's up to you? Hopefully things go well, gamer. Appreciate you coming and stopping in. Find any unethical gear... Mirrored identified is the combo that 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 drop just stunlocked me for a second. 
So it was it was mirrored and identified gear is what that was. Sorry, I just got like hard stun locked by that drop. Just a very confusing looking drop. Free chance. Oh shit, you're right. Wait. I forgot about that. I should go and grab those. That's a bunch of chances, which would be really nice. Yeah, 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 can I even go back in this way? Or do I have to walk through the entire thing? Do I have to walk through the entire thing again? Is that worth? It was like five chance orbs. chance orbs. I feel like it's probably worth. Okay, so how do I do this? How how do I do the how do I do the tech? Go other side? Oh, it probably connects better. How do I do the tech? Like what's the um what's the uh what's the timing on it? Like when do I press each ability? Okay, so I need to go sell my my inventory now. The, uh, <clears throat> the, like, blink arrow, whatever, tech. Right. Let's sell those, let's sell those. Wait, do mirrored ones not work? I'm not getting chance orbs from them. Does it have to be rare? Is that what it is? Maybe it has to be rare. Okay, lesson learned. Lesson learned. Blink arrow first, then once your screen moves forward a little, you frost blink before the arrow from your blink actually touched down. Like that? Timing is different depending on how far you do it, is what it feels like. Yeah, it's it's rares only. Yeah, the timing seems a little different depending on how far you shoot the arrow, so it's a little it's a little rough. But yeah, I don't know if I can I don't know if I can be fucked to try to get good at that. I'm just not sure. Happened to yesterday's character? I deleted that motherfucker. Way too good of RNG. Oh, we got a Hatred Essence. And he dropped a bow. It's slower, but it hits a lot harder. Yeah, I don't have a cover yet. Probably gonna try to buy one from the vendor. Yeah, I didn't have links, I didn't have iron rings, I didn't have quiver. Pretty bad. Um, I will have to leave here in a minute for a few minutes to go take Goob to work, so remember that the stream will pause. Temporarily. It'll still be here, so don't go anywhere, but in a few minutes I will have to take a short break to take Goob to work.
can decide if I want to do a practice run myself or play more Baldur's Gate. Um, I mean, if you've already done one, you might as well wait at this point. You probably play Baldur's Gate, dude. Oh, that hurts, dude. I've been working with a friend on DE League Starts for 322. Hit base Caustic Arrow into TS Ballistas after Merce Lab. Sounds interesting. All right, so here we take two Heralds, right? Herald of Ice, Herald of Thunder. I don't have another blue slot. I do not have another blue slot. Okay, we take this. some stuff. I don't think any of this was good, yeah. Get rid of that. I need to level lightning arrow in a offhand. On that three link. Did I miss something? Oh, check to see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Need blue, blue, red would be ideal in my boots, but yeah, you sold it. I didn't think I had a three link helmet that I sold that would have worked. If you time it correctly, your frostwing animation happens first. Then you start walking from your endpoint, and then BA animation happens, or you cancel it. You can also go Herald of Ash, it's fine. Okay. Yeah, because we just stick with um, Herald of Ice, I think, right? Or it depends on what our. Um, Depends on what our bow is, yeah? Yeah, probably just play Baldur's Gate. Wait for patch notes. Because the thing about it is, is that this is only really useful for me, right? Like most people, I feel like it's probably not worth your time at the moment to do a ton of League Start testing unless you are pushing for a certain time or something. Because um, for me, I'm doing this so that I can get acquainted with these abilities before. Oh, nice. Before I um. Okay. Our patch notes Thursday. So yeah. Probably just wait until then. Oh, that's the boss. She almost one-shot me, dude. Holy. Where's that? Sapphire. Mm. Have the lab here might as well and then we'll go kill the the dude um actually we might be able to just barely do the lab and then i'll have to jump for a moment yeah this time the rng seems to be more normal i guess you could say because like when i was playing this before it it was kind of insane what does quality on this do? 1% increased damage taken. That's actually good. I mean, it's something, right? Might as well use it. Yeah, my RNG just throughout the entire run was just insane. Um, the divine drop was kind of whatever. Like, in, a, in an actual League Start scenario, that would be something. But, um... But yeah, do I do a all side zone? I don't know, should I even care about all side zones this early? I can't drop six links yet. Probably not. I don't think there's much in there that I would care about. Later on, sure, but not this early. Well, Vault Lightning Arrow is apparently not that good, yeah. 
Um, what are six links? It's like level 40 or something like that. 40 or 50, somewhere around there. I don't remember exactly. Maybe we can do this. Uh. Hmm. Do I need. Do I need that on there? Didn't do it right that time. So I did it correctly that time. I just fucked up the. I didn't have the the correct thing on it, right? I haven't set it yet, so... No, not the right timing. I think that was it. Okay, this way... Come on, you can click him. Get over here, bucko. Okay. If all line arrow is bad, why play lining arrow? Get the patch notes aren't fully out, but will that be played with the new return support? Um, lightning arrow was always fine, people just didn't really play it. Like, there was a guy in my Discord that's just been playing Lightning Arrow for, like, six leagues in a row, and he literally always started Lightning Arrow, and dude had, like, a headhunter on day three almost every single time. Um, so, it's like, Lightning Arrow's always been fine, it's just that uh, Vengeance Cascade kind of put it on steroids a little bit, and on top of that, uh, Vol Lightning Arrow kind of got some hype for it. The thing that unfortunately always happens in Path of Exile is people just, people play things because of hype. Are you ready? Okay. I'll get to this weird point here. Um, people play things because of hype instead of because it like being good or not. Like a random content creator saying, hey, this build is good, play it, is much more powerful for, for people to choose to play a build than the build actually being good. All right, I'll be right back, like 15 minutes. I'm taking Goob to work. Um, don't go anywhere. I'll be back and we'll continue.
All right, boys, we're back. Sorry. All right, I don't remember where we were. I think we just killed Creighton, yeah? Um, if the song is right now, it's Birds by Harris Cole is the name of the song. Uh, I don't know if it's this song or the one directly before this, but this one right here is Birds by Harris Cole. Got it just before it ended, so hopefully that is the song you're looking for. All right, so we need to go that way. Okay. I think we just got this waypoint, right? And it's always like a, it's always like a huge shock to my brain going from um, being inside in like artificial light like this here, and then going out into like Florida summer, destroy your brain light, and then coming back in. My mind is just so confused whenever it happens. Like, I always feel like dazed when I walk back inside. Because it is so bright outside right now. Loud? Thinking of MG. Also, mana stacking mana forged arrows is a build template. Um, it's okay. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, I think that there is some potential for that to get nerfed, maybe a little bit, at least adjusted. I'm not 100% certain. Go 
Stop jumping. Hey, man. So are we playing Ivory Tower, Energy Blade, Spells, Blade, Support, Inquisitor next lake? Surely. Surely. That's definitely the first build that we're going to play, right? But on Mana Forge getting nerfed? Um, yeah, in some way, probably. I wouldn't be surprised. There's a lot of blues here. A lot of blues here. Yeah, I could see Mana Forge getting nerfed. Like, I could see it getting a larger damage penalty or something. Or maybe, like, a cost minimum. Something like that. I could definitely see them doing that. That would be the darkest timeline you could see for nerfs next patch. Vengeance Cascade removed. Um, Bone Shatter has the trauma function removed from it and it's put in line with all other melee skills since they've added the, the trauma support. Um, Mana Forge gets nerfed, RF gets nerfed. Um, they, uh, they do something to screw over crafting again. Something like I don't know. Increase the price of multi mods or something. Why RF nerf? Because it doesn't make sense. And he asked for the darkest timeline. Yeah, Reeve will get buffed and still be worse than uh, all other melee abilities. That's not worse than all other melee abilities. That's a bit of hyperbole. Yeah, bro. We uh we took the trauma out of Bone Zone because you can just link it with the support now. Uh -huh. Yeah, Arch Nemesis mods come back in full strength. Chain Hook has been removed from the game. Have oh, mercy. Alondra Arch Nemesis back without any of the rewards. What rewards? Darkest timeline, nothing gets changed. Hmm, is that actually the darkest timeline? Hey, what's up, Seth? I'm not actually sure. If nothing got changed and they just added all the new stuff in, um, that'd probably be fine. Serious Storms are now a map mod. Okay, Satan, calm the fuck down. He asked for, like, the darkest timeline, not, you know, not, like, the pitch black depths of hell. What would be the brightest timeline you could see? Um, I don't even know, man. They've decided to re-release 3.17 with all of the new, uh, with all of the new sport gems and skill gems. I, I don't know, dude. I have no idea, to be honest with you. Yeah, I mean, on a realistic brightest timeline would probably be bringing back, uh, bringing back, uh, reforge prefix, reforge suffix. That would probably be the brightest timeline, honestly. Can't see anything brighter than that. Unfortunately, that's like giga tier copium. What build do you think will be best for mapping next season mid budget? Um,. Most of the time, it's some big bow build is probably going to be the best, like, mapping clear type build. But if we're talking, like, the best clear budget build, it's almost assuredly um, CF uh, champ. Almost assuredly CF champ. I think Rue is reworking it a little bit. And with um, 
With Vol Reef being a thing now, it even has a little bit of single target damage, right? After the build yesterday, uh, I deleted that character because it was completely unethical and it wasn't like a realistic experience of how a league start on this build is actually going to go. Like it's just it's just not realistic. That'll never happen. That's like a one in a one in a hundred league start scenario, right? So it just wasn't realistic. And since I probably will end up doing this build for myself, I, I need a more realistic scenario. It wasn't just the bow. It was the bow and the five link and the currency that I found and the essences that I found. It was just everything. It was just very unrealistic. And like, it's hard to... It's hard to be like, well, I just don't use this or I just don't use that. It's like, where's the, where's the limit, right? You know, so it's difficult. Yeah, I got a five link in like act eight. It was just, it was just kind of silly. Oh, I can keep this. Yeah, it was just it was just a silly run. Look, listen, I'm contractually obligated to stay in the streamer client, okay? All right, let's see. Do I have? Where's my ability? Accuracy is five ninety four. Okay, I'm good. How the ethics of this run so far? Much more ethical. Significantly more ethical. Let's put this away. Um, I can sell that. It's probably faster attacks, actually, now that I think about it. It's probably faster attacks. I don't have any wisdom scrolls. And I can't really sell anything for wisdom scrolls right now. So I kind of just have to sell these unidentified. I mean, it is what it is. I'll identify the recurve, though. That's bad. Mm, yeah, it's bad. Okay. Um, you got silk. Take wed. And put that there on our rain of arrows, just because it's something. Let's see. Is there a good base bow that I can use this on? Pause bow is not great. Recurve bow is not great. Right, we'll wait. Yeah, I just don't have the links for Trinity. Do not have the links for Trinity. Heard you're a fan of momentum support. I mean, it's okay. I used it a lot in my four link yesterday because I couldn't get the correct colors that I wanted. Oh, bucko. I get the gems which I cannot buy at the beginning. Um, if it isn't available to your class, you can either get them from doing the library quest in Act 3, which happens in the gardens, or you can wait until Act 6 and then go to the left of town and do Lily's quest. And then Lily will sell you level 1 versions of all gems. And you can put her in your hideout. Probably grab grab the accuracy nodes first because I don't need the health, and then we'll grab. Well, I should grab the onslaught stuff first, actually. But a little bit of accuracy buffer will be nice. I'm not up to that just yet. 93 DPS. Or attacks. I don't know. I don't know which one is better. Um, I doubt we'll get very many hideouts as rewards because they probably want to sell hideouts. They probably don't want to give them as rewards. It's unfortunate, but um, that is just kind of the way things work, and it's always been GGG's uh, business um method their like way of doing stuff is to you know survive off of microtransactions so that the game itself is free um i think ggg does an okay job of microtransactions they're not perfect but i do think they do a pretty decent job uh, patch notes are on thursday in the u.s
Yeah, GG does a decent job. Um, better than a lot of the other companies for sure when it comes to microtransactions. Um, I mean, I would still like it if you didn't have to buy stash tabs and all that good stuff, but I know that that will never happen, so. One minute to beat world record? Ah, yes, true. In one minute, we'd be, we should be in Act 5, right? Yeah, it was anywhere from 8 to 20. Um, the number wasn't consistent, apparently, over time. But it was as little as 8 at some points, apparently, which is not surprising. Okay, that's an upgrade, right? Be okay. 93 total DPS versus 52. Oh, that's an upgrade, brother. Does that have an open prefix? It does. Yo, what's up, Gherkin? Probably one of my favorite kinds of pickles. Spelled differently, though. Crucible definitely seemed like intern league for sure. Um, I mean, I'm fine with them reusing assets, and I think they've done it properly a lot of the time. Uh, but the reusing of assets in Crucible League was kind of like, okay, dude. <laughs> like, all right, all right, brother. Is that where we're at right now? Okay, we'll hold off. Um, we need to go towards these onslaught nodes and point blank, actually. Point blank is what we actually need to go towards them trolling. Um, because the thing about Crucible is they literally took, like, other units and just dipped them in molten gold. And that, that was just the unit that they threw in, right? Like, one of the bosses was just, um, was just, what's his name? Was it, uh, who's the, deli who's the first Delirium boss? It's Kosas and Omniphobia. It was literally just Omniphobia dipped in molten gold. Like, that was the boss. That was the model. Green, green, red. I mean, I could potentially recolor that. I could potentially recolor this. Oh. Okay. Um. Okay, so it means we can move Raj Archer, Reign of Arrows, that there, and then move Sniper's Mark and Blink Arrow there. I can keep leveling Wed for now. Might as well level Lightning Arrow as well. Okay. Um, it doesn't really matter. Do whatever works best for you. Honestly, um, I make very little off of streaming, realistically. I do it because um, it is just, I might as well, while I'm practicing and doing stuff for uh, the videos that I make. So if you are wanting to support me, you can do it directly, but I, I don't, I generally don't stream to, it doesn't do very much for me. If I was like, a massive streamer maybe it'd be different but i tend to not push for like sub goals i tend to not do that kind of stuff i tend to focus on other things um just you being here is best because it allows me to have better numbers to show to sponsors and be like hey give me more money fuckers so that's the best thing that you can do if you're feeling particularly generous um patreon uh direct donations and yeah, those are the those are the most those are the best way to get like just raw money into my pocket without random billion dollar corporation taking it from me. If that's what you care about. Pretty hype for the new league, but the mechanic looks kind of bad. Um, it depends on how they implement it. I play a lot of TFT, which is teamfight tactics, not the not the uh, trade thing. I played a lot. I play a lot of team fight tactics, so I'm kind of hyped about the idea of having an auto battler, depending on how much depth there is to it, because you can do an auto battler really well, and I think team fight tactics does it well. Um, so it could be fun. Uh, the the conundrum though is that in general, those kinds of games, auto battlers are strategy type games, right? 
And the thing about PoE is that PoE is a knowledge and it's it's knowledge skill, right? Like it's typically how PoE goes. It's not really too much of a strategy kind of thing. Like there's some strategy to it in like, you know, like your, your plan for league start and all that kind of stuff. It's not really too much of a strategy type game. But the problem is, is that you need that sense of character progression in PoE and I think most people would like it if that progression made it so that eventually you could just straight up ignore all of the mechanics and just go in and kill everything, right? And I think that that should be present. Problem is, is that kind of takes a lot of the fun out of it for me particularly. So I'm curious to see if they'll do something like a mode where you can't participate yourself and you just put the stuff down and do your best with like the knowledge that you have. I think that would be cool, but I think that's a very unpopular opinion, most likely. I'm, I'm sure most people don't agree with me there. So yeah, can we fight ourselves in those battles? Yeah, so you, you fight alongside your team is essentially how it works. I don't have a POV for this. Um, I, I'm i basically just kind of like playing off of the little bits of knowledge that Goan gave me yesterday. And um, I will throw together a POV when I make a video. I'm gonna make a video for this, similar to the one I did for Bone Shatter. Um, so you'll see that soon, but uh, I don't have one yet though. No. You should make an MMO version. Um, is the lore strong enough? I don't know that it is. I don't know that they would care to. I kind of don't want another mediocre MMO. You feel me? I'd rather have a really good ARPG than another mediocre MMO. Unlucky, my guy. Pause the timer. It's fine. I and mean, if you're going off a of slash played, it is what it is, but you are going to, you're going to lose a little bit of time for sure. A four link for free? For free? Huey lore is very cool and very deep. It's cool and deep. It's just none of the cool and deep lore happens while the player character is alive is the problem, I feel. That's the problem I have with the lore, is that all of the cool stuff does not happen in front of the character. It happens before the character or it is explained to the character. You don't actually get to play it. That's the problem that I have with the lore. Um, oh, that's a good base. I'm using essence on that. All right, so we can swap to that when we get to town. Okay, controlling. For free. All right, so our four link, we want it to be red if we can actually. Do I have a chromatic? I could do faster attacks, actually, you're right. I could buy another one. I could buy another cold damage. I could do that. Red is best, but yeah, I, I, I do agree that I could just do faster attacks or cold damage, whatever. Cold damage, all right. So cold damage, uh, pierce, shrapnel, faster attacks. Added cold, Mirage Archer, Rain of Arrows. Get rid, oh, that's the Bone Bow. Don't want to get rid of that. I could just look at this. Pretty good. Kill all this stuff. Lose some Fizz damage, but it is what it is, my guy. I don't have very many Wisdom Scrolls. All right, I do have an Essence, right? I do have one Essence. <laughs> like, 
I want, I want a normal run. I, I want a normal run, okay? I don't want this shit. I want a normal run, dude. Uh, uh, I gotta think, chat. I gotta think. What a can I even use this? Like is it is it realistic? I mean this isn't this isn't as egregious as the other one was, right? Like that one was crazy, just the numbers that it had on it. This one is still really good, but it wouldn't, like, carry me forever, right? Like, um... I don't know. How much armor is necessary? Depends on what you're doing. Uh, you want to get 90% fizz damage reduction on Guardian bosses, essentially, is what you want. And that only takes, like, 60 or 70k. But you can go more than that, but it just... You have to have a reason to go more than that, right? Like, going above that is kind of not super useful unless you are doing like particularly armor stacking yeah i'll just not use it for a little bit like by the end of act three that's a more reasonable bow i'll just not i'll just not use it for a little bit I don't think triple added ellie is unrealistic it's not super unrealistic it's just it's that plus attack speed on a good base right all right, let me let me let me let me see. Okay, 288 517 without my herald. 540. It almost doubles my damage. It's actually almost double damage. Whatever, fuck it, I don't care. I equipped it now at this point. Like like it almost doubles my damage, dude. Oh. <sighs> Okay, well, it is what it is. I guess, I guess the RNG begins. Might as well get a good time, right? I've only got a, I've only got a little bit of time today, so might as well go for it. This way? No, it's back here. Um, I'll probably have to end stream at like 5:30 or 6 because I have some stuff I got to take care of. So I won't be going until like 8 or 9 today. Use the wrong client again? I already told you, man. I'm like, I'm contractually obligated to be in the streamer client, okay? Yeah, I have a four link off of all Oversoul and this crazy bow. Uh, I don't, I don't foresee Tornado Shot getting nerfed in any way, so it'll be probably pretty good, yeah. The big thing that happened with Tornado Shot is that the, um, the, the floor got raised, but the ceiling got lowered. Because it's easier to get additional projectiles now, so you don't need, like, crazy additional proj on, like, uh, what was it, uh, is synthesize something like that. You don't need that anymore, but... They lowered the ceiling a pretty decent amount. I think Toxic Rain would be viable. Uh, you'd probably go Toxic Rain Ballistas, yeah. So yeah, I think Tornado Shot's fine. Um, but yeah. Tornado Shot is fine. The big thing about Tornado Shot is that you, you typically want to swap into it at kind of like a midpoint, because Tornado Shot becomes just so substantially better with the Helmet Enchant, right? And it's a little difficult to get that Helmet Enchant on a good item. It's not impossible to get it, but especially early on it's rough. Um, RNG went from really bad to kind of unethical again. Uh, this zone kind of seems like it's going to have one like over here. Yeah. Yeah, it went from pretty bad RNG to unethical again. 
I've got a four link helmet. I've got a crazy triple LE attack speed bow. Third one should be up this way. My triple Ellie's so good, because we just scale raw elemental damage and it's just a ton of base damage to scale off of, right? Like it's just a huge amount of base damage to scale off of. Ooh, it might be over to the right there. Is it to the right? Oh, it might it might be there. I never know with this zone. Trinity would be crazy. Yeah, if I had the links for it, I would definitely use Trinity. Could also be over here. Oh, yeah, it's back all the way back that way. Go in, did you say there was a way to tell on this layout? Like, do you just have to memorize the layout or something? Or the green, red, I already have that. I think it's viable start to go Deadeye Lightning Arrow, or what do you think? Um, viable, yes. Easy, probably not. Oh. Easy, probably not. The, um, the thing about it is that this build is very good, but it's super squishy and you need to be able to pilot it pretty well. So I would say that if you feel competent playing Lightning Arrow on very, very low like defenses, just knowing that you really can't get hit by much, uh, then yes, perfectly viable. But just understand that it's not realistic to get defenses on this build. You can get evasion, you can get enough life to survive like one hit occasionally, but like if you get hit by a boss ability, you're probably dead. If you, you know, run into a pack and some bad shit happens, you're probably dead. Um, but you just have to, you just have to be okay with that, right? It's just kind of part of the build. The build is squishy, but it has crazy clear, crazy, like, depth of, you know, like, like it can, it, its damage can, like, penetrate real deep into, like, giant packs of enemies, right? Like, the clear is just phenomenal, and the amount of gear and everything that you need to be able to, uh, like, obtain that is not insane. But yeah, um, you're going to die a lot if you're not a very good player. So just be ready for that, essentially. We found that trial instantly. Instantly, dude. Just served it up to me on a silver platter. Another four link. And I might be able to get green, 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 blue on this one. Let's see if I can. Okay. Cold damage, mirage, rain of arrows, and trinity. It, getting getting one blue on that's not insane there, because um, it is a it is a armor energy shield chest piece, so it's it's not insane to do that. Right? Still good that I got it in one, but it's not like the most unheard of thing. How's it feeling? Um, yeah, this is probably my favorite league starter yet. The tech for mid-level bow builds. Is this the, um, is this the one thing? Nine eighty EDPS plus three arrow, 41% global APS. How do you have fire damage and then also added damage? Is that hybrid damage? Is that what that is? Um, I do want to test that. I do want to mess around with it. Um, unveil? Interesting. Uh, we grab Grace here and level it in the offhand, right? Grace. Lightning arrow. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Marketplace. What does Trinity do? Alright, watch the top left of my screen. 
So the idea behind Trinity is that if you do two separate kinds of damage as your main largest portion of damage, it allows you to have a ton of extra damage scaling because of that. The idea behind Trinity is that if you deal lightning damage, you gain fire and cold sacks. If you deal fire damage, you gain cold and lightning sacks, etc. So if you have those things, right, if you're doing at least two different types of damage that can scale, the easiest way to go about that is just having lightning be one of your damage types because lightning can either roll extremely high or extremely low. So it's relatively easy to just randomly hit one or the other. And uh, it gives, let's see, when the resonance is maxed, which is what this little thing up there is, it gives you 3% more elemental damage per five and penetrates seven elemental damage um, when you're at max. So yeah, tons of elemental damage. All right, um, from here, a little bit more accuracy and then life. Same problem is getting crit. Is Barracks for Spite Ignite proof enough to clear legions? I don't know if that has a long enough range. They nerfed the range on it a couple patches back, right? Um, this build can use returning projectiles, but it doesn't need it. 20 radius? Not sure. I'm not sure what the radius is between. That's something you'd probably have to test. I don't know off the top of my head. Don't know off the top of my head. Because Legion, one of the big problems with Legion is just the fact that the mobs are a little spread out. So it can be sort of rough. Um, Goan said that early on they're like 50 C each for tamings. Eleven orbs of alteration. Okay. Chieftain is good, guys, right? Surely. That bow's pretty decent as well, but not as good as the one I've got. Surely. As a league starter? Surely, dude. I hate this zone sometimes. Um, Rain of Arrows just ends up being a little better than Lightning Arrow until... I actually have a 4 link. I could go Lightning Arrow, couldn't I? I have a 4 link. I could go lightning arrow now. Thinking emoji. There it is. Finally. Okay. So we can go lightning arrow. I need LMP. Even if smoke mine is better, I would never use it. Let's fuck that ability. Damn it, dude. I don't have room. Uh. Yo, what's up, horror bite? How's it going, gamer? Road reward. Gimme, gimme, dude. All right, so I need this accuracy all right lmp get i'm i'm getting dizzy i'm getting dizzy 
Okay, so... And then we take out Mirage Archer? No, we take out Added Cold, right? For Lightning Arrow. Getting dizzy. Yeah, I just... I got to the point where I essentially just said fuck it and shaved my head, because I... So here, so here's the thing. Trick of that zone is first busy, first busy, first busy. It's always to the left of the waypoint, i.e., where you enter from. To the right of the waypoint, there's always a bus near the waypoint. Oh, bust. Okay. That bus is in a small room. Then the third is bottom side. Oof, that's a little complicated. That's a lot of things for me to remember, and I'm bad at remembering, as we know. I'm spending way too much time in town right now. This is very bad. I need to identify that. I need to sell three of these. Dizzy. Nothing. I don't even know why I identified that one. Um, we can keep these, potentially. I can move... Blink Arrow into Momentum, dude. Oh. Right, so now, now we can play Lightning Arrow. Let's go, dude. So it depends on the size of the room, interesting. Did I put LMP in? It just didn't look like it for a second. So I need to get a Pierce Quiver if I can now, right? When do Pierce Quivers start showing up? Make Gladiator great again. Good luck. I think the only person that can do that is someone at GGG. Gladiator needs a hero, dude. <clears throat> I don't think any of us are that hero. Level 36. Okay. Whoa, big lag. Uh, ball side zone, wonderful. Hmm, yeah, did it too early, I think. Idea for League Star, Legion Expedition farming is gonna be fine with taking hits. Fine with taking hits? Hmm. Typically, if you're going Legion farming, particularly, you're trying to not get hit. Um, I would say a big bow build for legion farming. For expedition, probably the same, but for taking hits, I mean... Probably Corrupting Fever Champion, right? Probably Corrupting Fever Champion. Yeah, when it comes to the new gems and stuff, we, we really need more information at this point. We just don't have enough. New Corrupting Fever Champ looks awful. Oh, Rue's new POB that he cooked up, is it bad or something? Like bad looking or bad feeling? Cause he cooked up something new, right? With like, uh, the daggers? Yeah. How is he applying? Venom Guy or Inspectral Throw? Uh, oh, that's right. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, he's wanting to use... He's wanting to use Cold Iron Points and go Venom Guy or a Spectral Throw, right? Yeah, I don't know. That doesn't seem as good. Maybe it's easier to get going or something? Copium? I don't know. It's Rue. I mean, typically his ideas work, and typically they're pretty good. I haven't, I haven't really had too many issues with Rue builds besides like one or two ever. So his builds are typically fine. Um, where are we going? Tours. Oh, you know what I need? That's not where I need. Actually, it's somewhat important to go here.
Fire damage rank one. What if we get a better bow than this one? It could happen. Surely it could happen, dude. Yeah, I think, um... Encrypting Fever champion's probably just the way to go if you want a tanky build that can clear stuff pretty well. It's probably just the play, you know? Uh, if Steel Champ exists, like, if Steel Champ makes it through, um, if Vengeance Cascade, e even if Vengeance Cascade is just a chance to return and it can work with alt quality, uh, faster projectiles, that would be good as well. Alright, this is the first enemy that, like, can just wreck my face. This is the first enemy that can just wreck my face. Um, Vengeance Cascade could survive in some manner. I don't think it'll be full power at this point. But I think it could survive somewhat. Misstating that Spectral Throw and Venom Gyre suck for clearing. Venom Gyre is okay, but I think you need Chain, right? Like you need something to make it good. I don't remember what it is. But I think you need Chain. I think that's the main reason that you go Deadeye for that, right? Yeah, I think that if... I think that if Vengeant Cascade is a chance to return, uh, I think there's a chance for Splitting Steel to be okay. If it's just like a hard damage nerf, it very much depends on what that damage nerf is and how they go about it. I don't think Venom Gyre is that bad for clearing. It's definitely worse than Kinetic Blast, I think, but I don't think it's like bad. Well, yeah, sure. I mean, if you're like a good player or something, you probably won't go the cheaper option if the cheaper option is slightly worse, right? You can still go Kinetic Blast. I'm sure that build is exactly the same, right? Uh, life 624 and my accuracy is 1168. We're gaming, dude. Uh, I don't have a POV. First POV you'll get out of me for this build will be when I do my like recollection of thoughts after I test this for League Start and see how everything feels. That'll be the earliest that you'll get a POV from me. No earlier than that. So yeah, just look for the video. And that'll just be like a basic leveling POV. Um, it won't be a League Start POV until after Thursday. Yeah, expect just like a similar POV to what you saw in the Bone Shatter POV. It'll just have like basic leveling trees and then like some some early some early stuff, right? Like no crazy gear, just like enough gear to get you through like maps. You know? Like no super big in-game stuff. Ooh, can I make it? I'm not up to that. Damn. Surely. I can't wait to see what you're cooking, gamer. I know it's gonna taste terrible, but it is what it is, dude. It's the thought that counts. Chieftain Infernal Blow Face Breakers and Trauma. <laughs> Good luck, gamer. I wish you well. I wish you well. Man. I have pursued a greater existence first. What have you ever done but serve yourself? Uh, kill all the big bads? That is what I did. You betray your species, Huntress. Species? Huh? What are you saying, Piety?
Heavy Strike has an alt quality that removes the knockback. Divergent, I think. It's 100% reduced. Um, what do we grab here? Anything? Artillery Ballista. Okay, so we put Artillery Ballista in here. And we change out Pierce for something. Oh, this is where we need the other link, right? This is where we want the other link, ideally. I have six chromatics. If I could get red, that would be good. Not too red, though. Okay, good. All right, that'll last us until basically the end. Um, faster attacks and elemental damage attacks. All right, we're good. We are gaming. Okay, we can do lab now. You're knocking back bosses. Yeah, that was always the problem with uh, Heavy Strike, was the knockback, but with alt qualities now, it shouldn't be an issue. Playing only bow builds last leg and I'm tired of dying. Um, yeah, CF is CF is probably the, the case there. If you're wanting like a big ranged build that's also tanky, it's either that or um, Splitting Steel if Vengeance Cascade survives. Those are pretty much your options. Um, cause yeah, bow builds, bow builds are just not tanky. That's just, that's just how it is, unfortunately. It's really hard to reasonably scale defenses on a bow build without losing the reason that you go the bow build in the first place. Oh, we need to swap to haste. Yeah, Garatha's lightning arrow is fine, but like... You're losing the purpose of the bow build, right? In my opinion, it's just it's hard to to rationalize going champion for it in softcore, you know, because it's like at that point, why don't we just play something else, right? Like if you like, I don't know, you could go like Toxic Rain or something like that. If you're wanting to play like a big, huge, clear bow build, just I don't know, probably not champion. That's that's a hardcore build, in my opinion. Um, okay, so we don't want this anymore. We want this to be haste. Ooh, can I survive with that amount of mana? That's very little mana. Grimmo's version? Grimmo's version is fine, but it's not tanky. Um, Raider is a little bit tankier, but I would not call it tanky. You know? I would be surprised if Chieftain gets 1% usage. That would be surprising to me. I think that there will be a couple interesting Chieftain builds later, um, but I would be surprised if on League start, anything happens with Chieftain. But I think there could be some cool stuff later, for sure. All right, let's do lab. Time to die. Time to die. Oh, I didn't do prison or chamber of sins? Oh? Huh? Really? Uh, toxic rain is tanky boat? Yeah, um, but it's not like, it doesn't do what you're looking for, right? Like, you're looking for, like, a big clear build. Toxic Rain's not a great clear build. It's an okay clear build, but that's more of a single target build for the most part. It's okay at clear, right? It's not bad, but it's also, it's, it's, it, like, it's not gonna hold a candle to something like Tornado Shot or Lightning Arrow, right? Like, it's, it's never gonna be able to do that, ever. And most of the reason to go just big dumb bow build is to be fast, right? Like, to kill stuff really super quickly and just go 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 you know so it just depends on what you're trying to do essentially um you probably don't have very much 
method of doing anything 675 uh they are pretty uh they are pretty what's it called with the bands what's the word there's a word i don't know what the word is what's the other one that i didn't do what's the other one that i didn't do i don't even remember at this point i said it chamber sins yeah, they're willing to ban pretty much anybody, and once you have been, like, banned, like, ID banned, essentially, they they kind of don't go back on that very often. Realistically, I don't I don't know a way for you to fix that. I mean, there's ways to get around it, but it's like Monka TOS stuff. Doing Vol Breach Ignite Chieftain. Good, good luck with that one, gamer. Well, double damage scaling is good up to 100%, right? And I feel like with Heavy Strike, you could get pretty close. You can get pretty close. Because what, Heavy Strike is 40%? 39% or something like that? It's something crazy. Where is this? Because you can get 40% from the gem, like 20%. I think 20% from a Lethal Pride. 10% from the belt. 40, 60, that's 70. Is there another 30 that you could get somewhere? Probably not. Will Bone Shatter survive now that new support gem or will they remove it? It would be like... It would be really rough if they decided to make trauma support and then just remove the trauma effect from Bone Shatter and make you require an additional link. They already kind of nerfed that build pretty hard when they changed the Mantra of Flame stuff. It would just be frustrating if they decided to nerf a melee ability that's already not that good. It's only... The only reason you can call it good is because it's melee. In comparison to all of the other melee abilities... In, in, in comparison to all the other melee abilities, it's amazing, right? So yeah. If they nerf Bone Shatter, I'm gonna be like super duper fucking confused. Yeah, they'd have to they would have to increase the base damage for sure. But but yeah. All right, let's see. First lab gets us Tailwind, which will be very nice. Sometimes it looks like they spite melee. I mean, listening to the interview, it doesn't seem that way. Like, it's reasonable, the things that they're saying. They're just saying, like, yeah, the it just... It's not really reasonable to fix melee yet, and I get that. It sucks, because, you know, like, we've been feeling like PoE2 is going to fix melee, and now we're not really going to get that in the way that we thought we would, but... Would you suggest this league started for speed map farm that can somehow scale? I mean, the build that I'm playing right now is essentially designed to do exactly that. Patch notes are Thursday. Their heavy strike is worse? Oh, for sure. You'll still get, like, melee splash, but it won't be, like, the big giant pulses that Bone Shatter has. Like, that's the reason that Bone Shatter is good, is those pulses on stun, right? So, that's the reason that it's even really good, because it's just a good clear ability, right? You're really, uh, you're really hopiuming on this Vigilant Strike, aren't you? Yeah, I mean, it does kind of worry me as well, Eddie. Like, you know, we, we go for so long just 
the, the, I mean, the meme in the community was literally Pee-wee 2 will fix it, right? Like that was, that was the meme. And it kind of sucks to feel strung along for so long thinking, well, you know, I mean, we'll get like the new gym system. We'll get this, we'll get the new rigs. And they said they're going to move as much of that over as they can, but they can only do it eventually, right? When um, comes to strike, an emperor strikes without hesitation. Yeah, dual strike, I think, is different, but I'm not sure that it'll work. We'll see. Starting off uh, angry today, are we, Azaro? Um, well, dual strike is considered two separate attacks, I think. Isn't there some, like, isn't it considered like you're using it twice or something? I don't remember. I remember there was something weird about dual strike, but it may not be that. Play do some deep dive on this build somewhere in the future. Um, yeah, so we'll see what patch notes say. Uh, I kind of want to play this just for myself. Oh, am I going to die here? Well, the thing was, is that... The reason that they split the games is that they just felt like they couldn't reasonably do all the stuff that they wanted to do, and it just had to be a different game. And they probably realized as well that there's a lot of people who won't like that game. But um, the big problem is just that in the interview with Subtractum, they kind of talked a little bit about what the real issues were at the end of the day. And it's more so along the line of like budgeting and there's just only so much time and money and effort that can be done before, you know, you got to do something else. And they said they want to bring over the new stuff to PoE1, right? Like they want to do that, but it's like they essentially have to remake so much stuff that it's just not feasible to do it immediately. Um, they just don't, they didn't have the team size. So now that PoE1 is getting full attention, they should be able to have the team size and they should have like artists and such available. Yeah, because like um, one big problem that they said that they ran into was that Pee-wee 2 was using up most of their artists, right? Like most of the stuff that could actually like design stuff to look okay. And now that Pee-wee 2 is getting closer and closer to being done with most of the art assets that it needs, those artists can be freed up a little bit to be able to make stuff for Pee-wee 1. Uh, did I really go in like a huge dead end? Um, I don't know the Vengeance Cascade is 100% gone, but I think it'll be nerfed. I think it'll be nerfed, but yeah, we don't we don't have any confirmation on anything. I think they were overly ambitious and found out a while ago that it was going to fail. Um, potentially, that could be true, but we'll never know. Um, at the end of the day, we can only really take what they say, because uh, unless some random out insider, you know, gives us that information, it is what it is. But I do think that it was, to some extent, a marketing decision for sure. And it's probably the correct marketing decision, right? To, like, not reveal that information until now, when they felt like they had to. Like, I feel like that's probably the correct decision to make, 100%. Um, yeah, it would be very weird if they nerfed RF. RF is already not good. It's just a very good lazy build. Sure, and I agree with you, Eddie. Um, I for sure agree with you, but it's like, at a certain point, it's like, I can feel that way, and then what else do I do with that feeling, right? It's like, I don't know, nothing really else to say about it. It just kind of feels like it is what it is, right? Um, I am curious how long ago they knew, though. I would be curious to know. Um, it could. We'll see if it does. Ooh, I almost... almost died there, actually. Almost died there, too, because I didn't have, I think, the mana for Frostblink. actually really close more times than I would have liked um let's see here I'm 
190 versus, yeah, okay. Um, it's got elemental damage with attacks. It does have an open prefix. That is potentially good. That's not better. It's a very slow, oh my god. It's a very slow bow, unfortunately, so I think this is worse. Yeah, it's worse. Chromatic word. That would only slow me down. Before your yeah, it's a very slow bow, so I think it's just worse than my current one, but... Receive our blessings, embrace our gifts, and rise ascendant. For this is the ending that Uh yeah, for sure. I probably agree with you if you're talking about clear. Why would they do 3.5 if their plan was already to split the games in? That'd be completely counterproductive. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I think that the change that happened in 3.15 was less of a preparing for PoE 2 thing now, and I think it was more so just a, we think the game is like being broken apart and we need to do something. Um, as time goes on, I think that is more and more realistic. Uh, that's where most of my like weird links are in. I think I just keep those boots. This could be good, actually. If I craft on it, it might just be better because it's such a huge lightning damage roll. It's like a double the lightning damage roll and it's got implicit elemental damage with attacks. I think it might actually just be better than my bow. If I like craft random added damage to it like this. All right. One sixty three and two thirty. Yeah, it's better. Very slightly, but it is better. And it's got increased elemental damage with attacks on it too, so that means it's definitely better. Um attack speed's slightly slower, but that's okay. Um I can maybe get another socket on it. No, I don't really want to use that. Herald of Ice, Blink Arrow, I'm just gonna have to draw momentum. Okay. Sniper's Mark, I don't need because I have the quality one, yeah? Okay. Momentum we can hold. I'd like to use some different boots eventually. Frenzy, I need when I get another three green links somehow. Which I don't know if that's going to happen. Okay. All right. Now we have Lab, so we continue. What's your opinion about the enchants from first labs? Is that ever worth putting on? It makes any visible difference. I mean, if it's not going to like prevent you from equipping your gloves for some reason, then yeah, you can equip it. It's not it's not going to do anything negative. Um, there's a couple of them that are pretty decent, uh, but they're not like game changing most of the time. Oh, how did I fucking move that? I really want to see how they make damage support, how they make support gems worth the mana multiplier if they don't give any damage. Yeah, I'm curious about that as well. I guess it just depends on how you scale the base game, right? Yeah, most of the time there's not really any downside. The only downside I could potentially see is if like you're a pure Ellie build or something and it's like a fizz hit or something and you scale a lot of damage and then suddenly you kill yourself on fizz reflect or something like that. That's the most, that's the only thing I could really think of, right? Um, we need to get mana forged arrows going, but not super easy. Oh, my mana issue is I'm using War Banner. That's why my mana is having issues. I just drop War Banner. The adrenaline's nice, but I don't need it. Pretty sure all the lab enchants are reflecting in. Worst they could do is mess up elemental equilibrium. Oh, are they reflecting in? That's interesting. If they are, I wasn't aware of that, but I don't have that problem most of the time anyways. If a mob has 100k life, I would ignite with 50 million DPS from the explosion from Chieftain. 
Yeah, I think that's fine. If you can make that ignite prolif, then it could be good for clear, right? Um, but I really think it would only be good in like very, very dense stuff. Yeah, I, I don't pay very much attention to the, the club enchants, to be honest with you also. Like there's a couple of them that are okay, but uh, yeah. Well, the thing to worry about, Stoner, right, is that um, eventually, if Pee-wee 2 does insanely well and Pee-wee 1 does not do well, then Pee-wee 1 might eventually get given up on, right? That's the that's the concern, essentially, is that one eventually gets given up on, which whichever one ends up being, you know, left behind. It could be like a WoW Classic situation where the heart of the community stays in Pee-wee 1 and Pee-wee 2 just becomes like the the casual game community where, you know, like just random people come in and play at every league and then they leave and all of the like big hardcore people stay in Pee-wee 1. It, that could be the case. Um, the culture could stay in Pee-wee 1. It could also be the case that literally just everyone moves over to Pee-wee 2 and no one plays Pee-wee 1 anymore at all. It could also be the case where people just play both games. I, I mean, we just, we really genuinely don't have any way to tell what's going to happen. This woman's purpose, you know? attempt to try the will of man. Where is she? I can't even see her. Hello? There you are. Ooh. Another four link. Have you ever seen the true face of God exile? Pretty good. I don't even know where we go right now. I didn't mean to press that button. The touch of God! Oh, I didn't curse him. Oh, uh, where do I go? I go this way now? Oh no, I'm going for, going for this. <clears throat> Four link with two red. I could potentially hit that with like an elk or something. Huge items, dude. I can't fit any of that. I wonder what the restrictions are going to be on trauma support. Because, like, it does make me kind of sad that the only way they can reasonably do anything with melee right now is to make it do damage to itself. <laughs> it can, it hurt itself in its confusion. But, um, but yeah. gave melee skills more damage they'd be OP dude it'd be crazy they'd keep up with range can't have that I think we are getting, um, I think we are getting slightly better at, like, going fast and properly playing this build. Like, the first run through I definitely did learn a lot, um, and I think I'm doing slightly better now. I'm not doing amazing by any means, but I do think I'm doing slightly better. Oh, that's not what I tried to drop? What did I grab? Let me move, dude. I just need to hit things less often. Is 
with the ideal four link for this stage in the story. Um, which one? I think my four links are good. I think my four links are good. I need to look at them real quick, but I think I think they're good. Um, let's see. So artillery ballista added cold, faster attacks, and LA damage with attacks. That or Trinity is probably good. Um, I think this link is ideal right now, yeah. I think Lightning Arrow Link is ideal. Um, I want Barrage support to swap out, uh, LMP4, which we'll get that soon. But yeah, I think these are ideal. Only thing I'm missing at the moment is that I need another set of links to be able to put Mana Forged Arrows in. Um, which I might be able to do with these gloves. Because I have Sniper's Mark and Haste. I just need to be able to move those somewhere else right now. Um, so I, I need to be able to move those somewhere else. Can't go Trinity on Artillery Ballista. It can't benefit from it. Like, it doesn't cast as if it's you. It's unfortunate. <laughs> what do you think has the smoothest leveling? Um, honestly, this is pretty smooth. I'm enjoying this quite a bit. Maybe Peewee's more for the slower players. Peewee 2, yeah. I mean, I, I don't think that Peewee 2 is going to be easier. Um, I definitely don't think Peewee 2 is going to be easier, but I think it'll be maybe more fair. Because, like, current issue with Peewee 1 right now is just that, like, like what Neon said was correct, right? Is that it is genuinely really hard to see what happens a lot of the time. Right? Like, you've got all these crazy effects on screen. You can't really see what's happening. Your character just randomly dies because 50 bajillion things happen in your face, right? Um, so, I do agree with Neon in that regard. Uh, whether or not the way that they're going about fixing it is going to fix it. I don't exactly know that I'll enjoy the way that that game is played, but we'll see. We will see. All we can do. Um, it's not super easy to port it, to be honest with you, because, like, the game is built around it, so it would be a lot of balancing. It would be really hard. Maybe GGG could do it, but I'm not... They can barely get melee working in PUE 1 right now. I'm not convinced that they could do all of that extra stuff as well. All right, now I can run Anger, right? I have Charisma now. I can drop Herald of Ice and run Anger, yeah? Number one thing I hear from non-PoE players about PoE is that it is a one-button game where you blow up screens and they think it's a joke. Funny, because I never hear that ever. Who do you talk to? Because, like, I've noticed that the things that you hear feel very different from the things that I hear. Because that's not the problem that I hear ever. The problem I hear most of the time is that, yeah, I loaded up the game and it was super confusing looking and it seemed overwhelming, so I quit. That's the problem that I hear pretty much constantly. All right, let's go try to, let's go try to play Gear Jenga. You swap Anger for Wrath to sort out your Trinity. Oh, like if you are having issues between the two? Okay. Um, I probably don't even need... I don't run enough auras for... It's 16% damage. 16% damage for one point is okay. Yeah, 16% damage for one point is okay. Alright, um... Yes. Okay, let's play, let's play Gear Jenga. Alright, um... I just... I don't really want to drop Blink Arrow. I got War Banner. Probably won't use that again. Mm. 
Can't use angry yet. I don't have enough strength. It means I need a heavy belt. I don't want to buy that one. Um, I need a heavy belt. No heavy belt. Any of these give strength? No. Alright, we can try one act earlier. Heavy belt might not even spawn here. Okay, it did, but it's... <sighs> Whatever, don't care. I'll get a different one later. Okay, so how do we do this link? I need green, green, green. But I need sniper's mark. I need a haste. I would like blink arrow as well. But this needs to be four green and I can do it. Okay. Blink arrow. Okay. Yes. Mana forged. Uh, and then Frenzy and Ensnaring Act 2. Running one of these is well not level 48. This seems free as fuck with Garbo Bows even. Yeah, it's pretty strong. I agree. I don't think that PoE 1 will get the new gem system anytime or even remotely soon. Um, I think that's a very far, far way off. Far. Frenzy. Um, frenzy, and I don't need Blood Rage. Okay, so we should be good now. Just don't level up Mana Forged Arrows and move forward. Okay, I think we're good now. I think we have successfully Jengood. I can take out Herald of Ash. I can take out Herald of Ice. Where is my Herald of Ice? Did I already take out Herald of Ice? I might have already taken it out. Yeah, I already took it out. Okay. Ooh. You're right. I'm not getting enough lightning damage. Occasionally I do. So does this mean I have to use Wrath here instead of Anger? Uh, maybe I just got unlucky a couple times in a row? Seems like it's working now. Yeah, I think I just got unlucky a couple times in a row. Ooh. I'm not sure. Should be fine, I think. Yeah, it's not 100% constant, but whenever I am actively hitting stuff, it seems to stay up. It's funny, because, like, the lightning damage... Wait, that's cold damage, isn't it? So what am I hitting the hardest with? Is it lightning damage that I'm hitting the hardest with right now? I'm not sure. Where'd the boss go? Yeah, I think lightning arrow and um, ice shot are relatively similar, right? I think that ice shot is slightly better on single target, but worse on clear or something like that. I, I don't I don't remember. Um, something like that, right? What's the Iron Man 2 symbol at the top left? Iron Man 2 symbol at the top. Oh, that's Trinity. That's Trinity support. He just randomly get huge. Oh, periodically enrages. I was like, why did he just like level up right there, dude? Super strange. You gonna do a guide for this? I'll do a video like I did for Bone Shatter at the very least, and depending on what patch notes say, I'll maybe put out a guide, but it's gonna be one of those guides like, this is what I'm playing, I don't know that you should play it, kind of guides. Because I, I don't know that this is good for just like a general population for League Start. Both started with either LA or Tornado or Vortex and Fire Trap Ignite Elementalists. The Subtract and Build? That one? 
Because I think he I think he's doing some tech where he like adds in vortex or something to the build, right? Something like that, yeah. Why do I keep randomly blink arrowing? Do I have it on Mana Forged Arrows? Is that what it is? I'm like, why do I keep randomly blink arrowing? And it's because of that. <laughs> so I need to move this, right? And now I think that works. I was like, what's going on, dude? Why am I just randomly blinkering all over the place? I was so confused there. I don't have any mana. Okay, dude. Killing my ballistas, brother. Okay. Clubs build is solid, but honestly, I just didn't have much fun playing it. It's a trap build. <laughs> It is a trap build. No, it's illegal. They send you straight to jail. They send the they send the toxicity team straight to your house and take you straight to jail. Yeah, between that and like Lightning Arrow, um, I mean, I think that build's good, but I think Lightning Arrow is probably a better feeling build. If I had time, right, which I don't think I'm going to have time at this point, if I had time, I wanted to test out a bunch of random streamers builds and stuff. Like I wanted to test out some of the stuff that Captain Lance was cooking. I wanted to test out some of the stuff that I wanted to test out like Subtractum's build for just like a League Start scenario and like give a take on it. I just don't know that I'm going to have time. Um, if I do have time, I, I want to try that build, and I want to try a couple other builds. I want to try Rue's new build as well. New. Why do you hate yourself? There was like one or two builds that he was playing that actually kind of looked like they were cooking a little bit. But not not a not a typical Lance build, okay. Looks like he was cooking a little bit on one or two of those builds that he was messing around with. Alright, we go this way now. Actually, I should go up there, yeah. Yeah, I mean I agree some of the builds that he plays are kinda like, oh, what what are we doing here? But uh but yeah, there are there are a couple good ones. Uh, Rue is doing a, like, he wants to try to do Corrupting Fever with Cold Iron Points using, like, Venom Gyre or Spectral Throw or something is what he's trying to do. I I'm, I'm not exactly sure how I feel about it, but, um, I mean, I kind of wanted to test it out a little bit, see how it felt. Yeah, he's trying to, he's trying to do corrupting fever what defenses are you using uh i'm not yeah speed damage you could run grace if you wanted to you just swap grace for haste and you probably feel mostly fine while leveling uh i want to go fast though that's what i currently want to do Defenses on a third base? Unlikely. Silly damage, dude. <sighs> I think people don't understand how many hardcore players are turned off by PoE. Uh. Maybe. 
And if that's the market they're going for, then that's fine. It's just not really the PoE that I like, so. No movement speed. Oh, I'm so sad. I'm so sad. So sad. Unbelievably sad. I need strength somewhere, dude. Make it. I, I need to I need to put strength somewhere. Can I put strength on like my amulet or some shit? Got an open suffix. Strength. Is this enough? Okay. Oh. I'll hold on to that just in case. Um, I don't have a POB or anything for this. The earliest that you'll get a POB out of me for this is after patch notes. If we're talking about a full build guide, uh, talking about just like a basic thrown together POB if you want to test it, day or two. Probably. I think I did it properly that time. Yeah, I think that the way that PoE does hardcore games when it comes to like permadeath, I think it's pretty bad. Uh, I, I really dislike the whole everything on the screen can one shot you and you have to log out or, you know, like prevent the one shot that's not very interesting to me uh i much more prefer poe as like a sandbox simulator of trying to use various different ways to become giga overpowered i much prefer that play this despite the likely change of engine cascade um this build never needed vengeance cascade so yes despite it engine cascade is good but you have to keep in mind that, like, this build has actually been played for, like, four or five leagues to pretty good results, yeah? And a lot of people, even this league that played it, played their entire league without ever actually using Vengeance Cascade. It was only, like, a week or two in before people were like, ah, oh, fuck, I leveled that up. It was only, like, a week or two in before people were like, oh, wow, this is really fucking OP, dude. So, I mean, you can go... Worst case, you could transition into, like, Tornado Shot which doesn't really use Vengeance Cascade, and that build is still perfectly fine, no issues. Tornado Shot's floor got uh, raised quite a bit as well since the additional projectile. You see what happens when you hunt dreams, Hell yeah, brother. I forgot I have to talk to her twice. Why you make me talk to you so much, Piety? You lonely? Is that what it is? Is that what it is, Piety? You lonely? I probably need to kill less enemies. Definitely feel like I'm shooting too often. It's just, I feel like I kind of will die if I don't clear some of these packs. Um, I think the, I think the cases where it's too powerful is stuff like splitting steel and such. Like, I think for bow builds, it's kind of just whatever, right? Like, it's definitely strong, but it's not, like, oppressively strong. Like, you're just... You're essentially, like, doubling the damage. But, um... That's why I think it would be good if they did nerf it in some way, but not make it, like, just gone. Because, like, it would be nice to still be able to invest in doubling the damage, right? Like, if you had to, like, use another link or something for it. Um, because the return projectile support is all projectiles, right? Including spells. 
Um, I think that a good change for Vengeant Cascade would be like 40 or 60% chance for projectiles to return or 50, something like that. I think that that would be a good change. Because then you could still take it and use something like alt quality faster projectiles to um to get the full return and that's like a link that you have to use among other things, you know? Oh, I didn't curse her. Um, it would be kind of sad if they made it for only bow skills, because there are a couple cool implementations of it that aren't bow abilities. So I, I would prefer if they didn't do that. But um, is Lancing Steel as possible as Vengeance Cascade? You can do Lancing Steel as well, yeah, but it's not as good as Splitting Steel. Is Raider LA not viable? I just don't think it's as good for a soft core scenario. Oh, did I not do enough damage here? What? Yeah, it's like... The thing about Splitting Steel is that it's your clear and your single target all-in-one ability. It's slightly more effective damage-wise, and it's easier to land all of the stuff. Lancing Steel is fine. You can use it, it's just... It's not, it's not as enjoyable, right? Like, it's not as nice. Oh, I really stepped on that? Damn, that sucks. Whoa, what's hitting me? Uh, it was probably the bug where the animation didn't show and he was doing the tentacle, tentacle thing. Nightmare is the why? Are you so in love with death? How does someone get a beard as majestic as yours? Um, genetics, conditioner, and just letting it grow. My beard's not even that nice. It's kind of patchy. It's growing in as I get older, but um, it's a little patchy. Hope they buff melee in 3.22. Yeah, I mean, they're adding the trauma support. They're adding the trauma support. So you too can now be traumatized. All right, so we need Barrage here. We take Tornado here. Um, I don't really have room for either of those at the moment. But yeah, I mean, it's hopeful that like there's something that'll happen with the new supports that'll change some stuff around. And it should change some stuff, but I don't think it'll be available on um, League Start. Like, I, I don't, well, not available, but you know what I mean. Like, I don't, I don't think it'll be viable for most people to mess around with immediately on League Start. Like, there'll be some people that'll cook up some builds. I just don't know that they'll be the best implementation of them right away. Typically, that kind of stuff takes a little bit to figure out. Yeah, Lightning Arrow works fine without Cascade. Yeah, pretty much. Save me totems. <laughs> well, the idea behind uh, Nemus is that it no longer will require a link in your gear, right? I mean, I don't think they'll rework it or change it in pretty much any way. Um, Nemus also has no damage reduction on it, so it's just a somewhat better version of it. Just before that you used to juggle a job in streaming, you talk about what you used to do for work for streaming. I can't, um, because of, um, what's it called? 
I'm still friendly with the people there. Like I still talk to the guys there and I did sign an NDA originally. Technically, technically the NDA comes up in about a year or two. Um, but I, I kind of just don't want to particularly. Maybe at some point I'll talk about it, but I basically managed a team um, in the tech world. But um, it was some like cybersecurity type stuff that I, I shouldn't really talk about if I'm being honest. Like when we're talking about like professional integrity and stuff like that, I, I really just shouldn't talk about it. Um, like my NDA would come up eventually, but I, I want to say good with those people in the potential of whatever in the future, right? Um, so yeah. It's just something that I don't realistically really find good to talk about. Um, I didn't do a lot of the like high level work or anything like that. I was mostly just management. I could take care of some like rudimentary stuff, but I was mostly just management. Um, but yeah, I mean, I still knew a lot of shit. Oh, the damage. But um, yeah, juggling a job and streaming was really rough. I kind of told you guys before, I made a video about it um, on my second channel a while back, but um, it's pretty tough, dude. Like, it's not easy juggling all that shit, because the thing about streaming and content creation and such is that it, it is just an endless job. The difference between, um, the difference between, like, doing content creation as your job and, like, just going into work is pretty huge. All right, so... I need lightning and cold resist here. Lightning and cold resist. I just hope it's good. Yeah, the difference between those two things is pretty huge, right? Because um, when it comes to just going in and doing your job, right? Uh, you go in, you do your job, and then you're done, right? You're finished. You got nothing else to worry about. Holy fuck. This just is this just typical like is this just how this works like is this just typical i feel like it's just typical now i just find these bows constantly it can't be they can't be that rare go for time yeah i'm just i'm just gonna go at this point it doesn't matter right and we can get rid of that that's also not that great okay Don't need this frenzy. Oh, I do have like a random level one frenzy here. I can I can level it up. It's fine. I need to find more room though. Can benchcraft on that boat? Yeah, but what do I benchcraft on it? I don't know what I benchcraft. What's a suffix that I could benchcraft on it? I guess I can go look. Yo, Frosty oh, yes, Two Tech. Yes. I feel. Hope your name's a little strange. Oh wait, no, I can't. I actually don't have room. Never mind. Uh, I can't crit, so. <clears throat> I can't crit, so crit wouldn't do anything. Oh, there's a nice bow, but white gloves. Yeah, it's got attack speed already, dude. 17%. Technically, it's a pretty slow base, so that attack speed is just bringing it back up to a normal base. Because um, the fizz damage doesn't matter that much. Like, the fizz damage is still useful, and it's still good, obviously, because you convert some of it. But don't level that one up. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Grove bow. See, th th those are the kind of bows that I'm expecting to find, right? Like bows like that. It's like, yeah, it's a little bit of Ellie damage, but nothing special. That's the kind of bows that I'm expecting to find. I can't move, dude. Stop it. Get some help. But um, thank you, Prosty Two Tech. Appreciate you, gamer. Make sure to put ducks in the chat as well. Um. Yeah, juggling a job and content creation is pretty rough because it's like with a job, uh, what I was trying to say previously is with a job, you you know, you go in, you do your job, you come home and then they don't fuck with you most of the time when you're off work, right? They don't fuck with you. There's nothing that you really have to worry about. You can just focus on doing you, right? Problem with content creation, 
the job does not end. It never does. Uh, the thing about the thing about content creation in general is that it is a cutthroat, ruthless like environment where you are constantly worried about other people doing things before you or getting to the big thing before you, right? Because like the difference between on news type videos, right? So say like patch notes or anything else, the difference between me putting out a video at the same time or before someone like Zizarin puts out a video and me putting it out eight hours later is like less than half the views, right? Um, so it's like, it's just, it's, it's super competitive, highly like hyper competitive at all times. Um, it never really ends, the grind never stops. And uh, you just, you can get into this kind of mindset where it's like, well, yeah, you just gotta keep going. You gotta keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. You don't have any free time because you gotta spend it on this, right? Because you gotta hope that you get big enough that it can become the main job, that you can survive off of it. Um, that's kind of the like, that's kind of like the the problem, right? That's, the, that's why you, you hear a lot of like content creator burnout. You hear a lot of like, have you ever noticed that most like streamers and stuff say that streaming and content creation is not easy and it's very stressful but then like the meme is always that like haha what do you mean a job you play video games for a living and you always notice that that's kind of the divide most of the time between like the chat and random people and um and content creation and stuff and i i get both sides right because like most people are working dead end jobs that they hate that they have no future in and they you know see like nothingness before them right um, and they see this person who sits at home and play video, plays video games all day. But that may be true for like the top couple percentage of content creators who literally just log in and stream and like make random videos and stuff and they just happen to do well. Um, but uh, for the rest of us that aren't already there, it's, it's pretty fucking ruthless, man. What kind of build do you suggest if I want to go for spamming blight? Probably some kind of minion build. Um, so yeah. Dropped an Exalt in Act 5? Yeah, but I mean, the Exalt's not super useful. I could use it whenever I want. Um, but yeah, it's not it's not super useful. Like, it would definitely be cool on League Start to just have an Exalt. It'd be like 8 or 10 Chaos or something. But yeah, it is... Sometimes it's a very thankless job. Uh, sometimes you do get a lot of thanks. Sometimes, you know, you get a community that supports you and is like really happy and shit. And then sometimes you get three Reddit threads in one month and they all tell you that you're literally Satan and you should, you know, like off yourself and shit like that constantly. And it's, it's just kind of, it just kind of, you know, it just depends on what's going on and what kind of stuff you're doing, like what content you're into. Um... It can be it can be pretty shitty and it's it's always funny when like friends or acquaintances or stuff get into content creation and their opinion changes on it so drastically like i can't tell you how many times i've had friends that weren't content creators whatsoever and they're always like man i wish i could do what you do and then some of them do become content creators or do stuff and they're like man i just feel so mentally drained every single day it's insane i feel like my job never ends and there's nothing that i can do about it and it just feels like i have to grind until the end of time and i i feel empty it's like yeah dude <laughs> it's not all sunshine and rainbows <laughs> it really genuinely isn't people think that it is um but it's it's really genuinely not sometimes it's fucking rough dude it's it's not easy it, ca it can really genuinely feel like a like a, a J-O-B. Patch notes when? Um, Thursday. I think you have to have be thick skinned. Yeah, it, the, the thing about it is that thick skin can only really go so far a lot of the time. Because it's like, you get that gnawing thought in the back of your head. It's like, um, y you know, you'd be like, well, if all of these people are saying that I suck or that I'm bad or that I'm a terrible person, like, am I a terrible person? Like, how many people does it take saying that before you have to, like, try to do some introspection and see if they're right, you know? Um, I, I always try to be, like, open and honest with myself with that kind of stuff, and in some cases, it is just going to be random people bitching, right? I mean, it's just, it is what it is. That's just part of the game. Just people are not going to like you, and it is what it is. 
But I, I think it is important to try and be honest with yourself and be like, okay, a lot of people are saying this one thing. Is there any, is there any like verity to this subject? Like, is there, is there any truth to what they're saying? And try to figure it out the best as you can for yourself. And if you don't agree with them, then you don't agree with them. But, you know. And it's tough sometimes, right? Because a lot of the time when you're a content creator, you can get in this echo chamber and you can just have, um, and you can just have like a whole bunch of people just telling you that you can do no wrong, right? Especially as you get larger and especially on Twitch as a streamer, you just get these like people around you that just tell you that everything that you do is correct and there's nothing that you can do wrong, right? So it's difficult sometimes especially when those um, when those groups collide, right? Like when those kind of communities collide and they're like those two people are like, you know, butting heads or something like that, you can get some vile, disgusting shit sent your way and it's actually insane. Um, so yeah, oh, I didn't even see he was doing that ability. Um. I think that you can be a critic of something without making it yourself. Like, I think that that's viable. Um, it's definitely easier, right? But I, I think the idea of just... <sighs> eschewing all criticism just because, well, you do it and see how, see how hard it is, right? I, I don't think that that's like... It doesn't do anything positive at the end of the day, right? So I, I try to see the good in the criticisms if I can, you know? It's like, I feel at the end of the day, a lot of people, they can identify problems pretty well with things. The same shit that, that Chris says, right, about PoE, is that the people watching you and the people, you know, like consuming whatever product it is that you create, whether it's a physical product, whether it's um, content, videos, streaming, music, um, they still know what they're talking about at the end of the day, right? Like, they still have a valid opinion. They're one of the people that listen to you, so... They probably have somewhat of a valid opinion there. Um, it's just whether or not you think that criticism is worth implementing into whatever you think, right? That's the difference at the end of the day. Um... So yeah, it's like, I, I try to, it, it depends on my mental state, right? Like if I'm feeling pretty fucking boomed mentally, I tend to stay away from like comment sections and Reddit and stuff like that. But if there's like a genuine, just like a big negative thread or something, I'll go and I'll kind of look and I'll be like, well, what are they saying? Most of the time it's bullshit. Like the, the Reddit thread about the Chieftain video, I was like, holy fuck, dude. People are talking about BFBB and bait builds and like that I am fucking stupid and I have no idea what I'm talking about and shit. And I'm just like, bro, it's literally a video just saying I'm kind of excited that Chiefs and has some unique stuff. Like, hop off my dick, bro. That was that was just a that was my Discord ping, by the way, not your guys. That 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 thread was just pointless, so I just closed it and never went back, right? But um, there have there have been a Reddit thread or two occasionally where I'm like, well, there there's some good shit here, right? Like there there is some. There is some decent shit here. Uh, sorry about that. So yeah, um, it's it's just like it just it so heavily depends, right? Because like if you're if you're only uh if your only criticism of me is that yeah, isn't that the BFBB guy? It's like bro, it's three years ago. <laughs> two or three years ago at this point, and I still don't even think that that build was bad, right? <laughs> so I don't know. It's like, if, if that's the only criticism that someone can levy against me, I kind of just ignore most of what they have to say because it's probably not accurate at this point. Um, typically when people say something like that, I'm like, go look at my most recent build guide and, and you tell me, um, and you tell me what you think now, right? So. But yeah, it's um, I I'm of course thankful for you know being able to do this. It's it, it, don't get me wrong. It's not like I'm not thankful to be able to sit at home and play video games all day. But just um, try to remember that it's not all just sitting at home and playing video games, right? 
could have been the Poison TS Occultist build. Uh, I... The, the thing about it was, is when that was happening, I like... I felt, I felt for Firegrass, man. I'm just like... I'm like, I, I, I know where you're coming from because like that build was fine. It's just that's... That's one of those lessons you learn in PoE. There's certain builds that you don't make a build guide for. And if you do make a build guide for it, you are like so overly cautious to be like, do not play this shit, right? Like, I, I feel for him, right? Because you shouldn't have to do that, but the PoE community is fucking ridiculous with certain things like that, right? Like they're just, they're absolutely vicious. Um, but yeah, like you learn that lesson very, very early as a content creator that you you have to be careful with build guides, right? You have to be super careful with build guides. Because it's like, you can't oversell it at all. If you oversell it and it doesn't work for most like people who aren't very good at the game, you're just going to get fucking obliterated, right? Online and everyone's going to give you shit and they're never going to go and look at your content ever again. So it's just... It's rough, dude. Yeah, Firegrass has some pretty crazy level of knowledge when it comes to high-end stuff. Absolutely. He's one of the few people that I'll look at when I'm curious what's going on with, like, the actual high-end of stuff. <clears throat> it's like him, Snap, um, Grimro sometimes. Uh, I used to look at um, Path of Math occasionally, but uh, a lot of his videos were kind of long. He doesn't. He never really got to the point very quickly. But um. But yeah. <clears throat> if I want like some like really big brain like group play type knowledge, Snap is essentially one of the best that there ever is. When it comes to like big currency making stuff and some crazy high end build stuff, Firegrass is pretty good. Grimro can be good. I feel like he's maybe a little too positive sometimes about stuff. Like he gets he gets himself a little bit too much in the hype train. You know, just a little bit, but I can't I can't really fault him for that. It's just I can't be as hype about certain things like that. Like, you know, I mean, it is what it is. Tuna, um, I actually don't watch Tuna a lot, if I'm gonna be honest with you. Nothing wrong with Tuna, his content's good, his builds are pretty good. Um, nothing wrong with him but not somebody that I go to for that kind of stuff. Um, when it comes to like ruthlessly efficient builds, Rue is probably one of the best at this point. Um, his builds are always much more focused on just being good most of the time. Uh, so Rue's builds are really good. He can be... He can be a little toxic as sometimes, but um, he's consistent with his toxicity, so I respect him in that regard. There's a lot of people who are not consistent in their toxicity. Um, I'll, I'll give Rue the fact that he's he's pretty consistent with how he approaches stuff, right? So yeah. Uh, Von Victon, from what I remember, is fine. I never really had very many issues with him. Yeah, a lot of people can't handle Rue, for sure. And I get that, right? Like, very abrasive way of handling things, for sure. Absolutely. Um, Juicy is good, but he just makes high investment meme builds. He's an entertainment channel. I don't I don't really look to him for like, man, I want to play a cool build. I look to him for like, all right, how are we breaking the game this patch? You know? Um, yeah, I agree. The, the problem with... Um, I, I agree that playfield is actually really important. The problem with making playfield important is that, like, the the hardcore SSF uh, sycophants will, like, attack you if you try to focus on playfield a lot of the time. <laughs> Unfortunately. So it can be slightly frustrating to deal with that. Hey, what's our resistances looking like? Oof, that's rough, dude. The 
the um the only i actually think that fast as fuck is a cool channel the only problem the only problem that that channel has is it tried to become a build guide channel that's the problem with that channel um if that channel had just stayed as a just a showcase channel and just showing off crazy insane shit i'd have absolutely no problem with that channel because it's a it's a like a group of people just trying to do crazy super high investment builds right that just does crazy stuff i think that's fine right but it started to get a little bit um it started to get a little bit more in the like we're trying to make build guide feel and that's kind of when i think that they lost their way a little bit so that's just my opinion I don't have any room, dude. Yeah, I think when you keep that as an entertainment channel, I think it's a really good channel. I, I think it's cool. Um, the whole controversy thing with like showing Elder and then clipping it to zero, it's like, that's just dumb. Like, why do that in the first place? I get it, but like... Who's that guy who made really high quality guides every blue moon? Um, you're talking about SRO? The problem with SRO was that the quality of the guide itself heavily outmatched the quality of the build sometimes. That was his only problem. Most of the time his builds were okay, but just because the build video and the build guide for it looks really cool doesn't mean that the build is as cool as it looks. Who do you think does the best currency farming guides for less hardcore players? Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I think I do pretty decent currency farming guides, but, um, I, it depends. Like currency farming guides are tough because as soon as you put out a guide for something, it stops being as good. That's always the issue with them. And that's always the problem that I have with like currency guides. Cause like if there's some kind of specific strategy that you're using for that currency guide, right? And it uses some kind of specific margins that you're trying to hit. The problem there is that once you make more people aware of it and more people are encroaching on those margins, it's significantly more difficult to make it worth your time. Um, that's why a lot of the time when I make currency generating guides, I, I try to focus more on ideas to tell people. Um, I, I try to focus more on things like like when I made uh, the heist guide, right? The main thing that I focused on with the heist guide was being like, okay, so what you really want to focus on, interesting, that's what that does now. Um, what you really want to focus on is you want to focus on trying to get like an idea in your head of will these margins actually work? Will you be able to, you know, generate profit off of this? What are you investing? What are you receiving for that investment? And how long does it take you to receive the, the, the products that you're trying to get, right? So it's like, that, that's the thing that I attempt to teach people. Um, what was I just doing? There's something that I was trying to do. I don't remember what it was. I got talking about shit and now I don't remember. King emoji. I don't know. Yeah, currency guides are pretty tough. Love Gazi, but sometimes his builds and farming guides are like step one minion, step two profit. The thing is, is that Gazi is a super, super high end, like crafting big brain mirror tier mega mind, right? And um, the problem that can happen a lot of the time is that. He has a very good grasp on everything. I think his, his videos are, are made pretty well and his, his build guides are pretty good, but I, I think a lot of the time people can get lost in the sauce when it comes to stuff like that, right? Like, it's very easy to be like, yeah, just get this item. It's three divine. You know, it's like, it is what it is, but I don't think he does that very often, or at least not anymore. But, um, like, it, it's very easy to get very lost, very dizzy.
Yeah, I actually know Snoobe has been getting that's that's probably the guy. That's probably the guy that explains just like random farming stuff really well. Cause he does like a lot of work on testing that stuff and puts out a lot of videos in that regard. Yeah, that's that's probably a good name. Yeah. Let's go here. Yeah, it's it's very easy to get just absolutely lost in the sauce in this game. What the hell, dude? Yeah, I don't even know what I'm supposed to do there. That's a little frustrating. Maybe I just shouldn't have even opened it. I'm not sure what to do there. I probably just should not have even activated the... Hopefully I can just kill it real quick. Okay, it's dead. Yeah, that was, that was bad. Your skin is okay. Yeah, like I said, Grimro has good information a lot of the time. Um, not for me sometimes, uh, but for general populace, absolutely. He does a very good job of fully explaining mechanics. But like I said, he get he maybe gets a little too hype sometimes about stuff, right? He seems like a little too positive sometimes for me. It's a little bit. Yo, what's up guys? Grim here. Grim does a lot of testing. There's a ton of testing. Yeah, I mean, Huey's a rough game to make content for, if I'm gonna be honest with you. Because you're making videos for a bunch of, like, addicted gamblers. It's, it's tough, dude. So, yeah. Ellie hit Dead Eye Starter, what do you think? Is it ever gonna be better than just going like lightning arrow or something? Like, is it ever just gonna be more efficient than going lightning arrow into like tornado shot or ice shot or something? Like, I think you could do it. But didn't Ellie hit get like worse with the uh, change to Frostferno or whatever? Isn't that like the main issue with it? I like guess probably doable. Oh. Of course, for solo. Hopefully, you're having a good time, gamer. I try to be. I try to be charitable with most people. I think like. People love drama and stuff, and like it's always fun to like you know shit talk people. But at the end of the day, it's like you never really know the circumstances of most people um, until someone has like gone out of their way to, to like target shit talk me. I try to give them the benefit of the doubt. There's a few that I won't associate with and I won't talk about very much anymore. But um. Most of the PeeWee community is fine. There's a couple stinkers. There's a couple fucking weird people. But I mean, it is what it is. Patch notes are Thursday in the US. Thursday in the US. And then we'll see if all of our favorite builds are destroyed, saved, if the game is good or bad. We'll know all of that on Thursday, surely, gamers, right? True, dude. I'm literally Hitler. Absolutely. Confirmed. Lightning Scepter recipe. 
What recipe are you talking about? Because the recipes have changed. This way? Yeah, I'm an evil, evil man. How dare I? Um, because if you're talking about plus one, <clears throat> I think it's 40 total quality with the same tags to get plus one. I'm curious to see what they've done with Toa's. If, if Toa is just the same as it was before, I'm gonna be pretty sad. Hey, Karosh. Like, um, is there a tree you'd share? Not at the moment. I don't really have one. It's gonna be similar to like 90, like if you go to Pee Wee Ninja and you search day one, Deadeye Lightning Arrow, and then you just look at the tree heat map, it's essentially that, right? It's not super different. Um, the first tree that you'll get out of me will be when I do my like, um, Basically, like my my brain dump on the build and league starting and all of that, like I did with Bone Shatter, where I'll just like give you my thoughts after it. Yeah, I'm gonna be pretty sad if that's all that they do to um to Toa as well, because like that would not be enough, dude. Like, come on. Damn, it hit me. I was hoping that I could like sneak by him there. Hoping I could sneak on by him right there. Pull a quick one on him. Not allowed though. See the meme trauma support glacial hammer build. Oh god. Trauma glacial hammer. Log in, dude. That's what I'm talking about, man. You want to cause yourself maximum trauma. That's the build to play. For sure. Glacial Hammer is a good skill, I agree. It's got some of the highest damage scaling in the game. Um, it's just, it doesn't have anything else. With Lightning Arrow in particular, just be a little careful going off Peewee Ninja. A lot of the highest level people play with auras like me and we do some different techs. Yeah, I was basically just giving like the most generic answer that I can, right? Like that's not something that I would say in like a video or something, but it's just like, I don't really have a POB for you and there's not really like a good POB for me to be like, hey, do this. No items, nothing, cringe dude. Are we gonna be uh, are we gonna be sharing bows on League Start? Yay! Like if one of us gets a good bow and we replace it, be like, here's my hand me down loser, catch up. Is that what it's gonna be? <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, a lot of the time it um it feels like uh I only have oh that's true. You're gonna use the widow hail tech. Never mind. Quivers then, surely. Um, yeah, unfortunately for a lot of melee abilities, it's just like, well, are you Bone Shatter? You better than Bone Shatter? No. You have like some mechanical advantage over Bone Shatter? No. All right, well, you're bad. Yeah, P.O.A. Ninja would probably give a lot of noise for Lightning Arrow, that's true. Fair. What sentences for Deadeye? Um, the way that I'm doing it is going to be Hailwind, Chain, Additional Proj, and then the Mark one.
Lightning Arrow was probably my favorite so far out of stuff that I've done recently. At least doing it this way. I feel like the thing about Lightning Arrow is there's like a lot of archaic knowledge that's just not really readily available. Because I've always seen a lot of Lightning Arrow people like play Lightning Arrow, right? But there, there's never really been somebody that just like throws together an actual guide for it. So the, the information is always like kind of conflicting a little bit and there's always like different stuff and that's always kind of been the case with this build, right? Like there was a guy in Discord that is now in my Discord that's now been banned for just being too difficult for too long who used to always League Start Lightning Arrow and he literally had Headhunter on like day one, day two a lot of the time, right? Um, and he always said like, you know, Lightning Arrow was fucking busted, dude. And he said it for years. He's like, dude, Lightning Arrow was amazing. It's always good. And it's like, you know, he would talk about it and you're just like, huh? Are you using your first Quicksilver Flask? Um, that is Tilda. There is a hotkey, it's just very tiny. Like if you look right in the bottom left corner, you see that little itty bitty little like thing there. Kind of miss him. <laughs> yeah, you know who I'm talking about. You know who I'm talking about. All right. Um, okay. Level 30 flame dash cast when you use Ice Nova. Um, something like that. I, yeah. There's a bunch of builds like that that actually do work that aren't memes, but yeah. Thing about Lightning Arrow Starter 2, just hopped in. Um, I mean, most fun I've had so far with League Start testing, we're only like two builds in, but if we're including League Start testing I did like in previous leagues, this is still probably one of the more enjoyable experiences I've had in a while. I'm glad that you're self-aware, Phoenixia. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm glad that you're self-aware of that point, because, because uh, yeah, that is true. I don't think you're as bad as him, though. I, I, I don't think you're even close to as bad as him, though. Like, <sighs> this guy was like, he would just fucking fight you and never give up, right? Like, he would, he would just fight just to fight, right? Like, constantly. Um, very good information, really, really good at the game, had crazy knowledge, but I mean, dude was just always fighting, no matter what. Always causing problems, always starting arguments, always instigating shit, just 24-7. Just so yeah. And he, the, the biggest reason why people didn't like him is that he would just brag constantly. Like, he would just be like, constantly bragging he'd be like look at my mirrors look at my headhunter look at my like just constant like all day right that was always the problem if he hadn't bragged as much people probably could have gotten over him a little bit how long ago was this it was a while ago oh flashbanged No, dude, post the full link every time. Absolutely. I want my eyes to bleed. All right, we don't need that. We don't need that either. But yeah, um, you're not that bad. <laughs> oh, okay, that was close. I can make a headhunter in day one, I would brag about that too. Yeah, but it's like when you hear it for the, the tenth time in two days, it's kind of just like, okay, dude, we get it. Arrogance, a little bit of arrogance is fine, right? I think that's fine. It's just like when it's constant and nonstop and never ending, then it gets to be a little bit much, right? Like there, there needs to be a, there needs to be a limit to it, right? Like. I, I I think people enjoy a little bit of arrogance. Like when you're when you're good at something, I think it's fine to be a little a little arrogant, right? Like it's fine. But like just don't just don't make it your entire personality to like, you know, like slam your dick on the table every single time that you're talking with any group of people. It's like, look, I know we're about to talk about like socioeconomic problems, but look at how fucking massive my e is. 
witness it. Now we can talk about whatever you want to talk about. Like you don't need to do that every single time, you know? Is it's not needed. <laughs> That's a sentence, dude. <laughs> That is a sentence, yes. If my dick isn't sore from slapping it on the table, I'm not doing it right. Uh, more, more power to you, dude. <laughs> more power to you, dude. Uh, where do I even go here? I probably, oh, probably dying. Oh, yeah, that's rough. I am very not tanky. But yeah. All right, I need probably a little bit of life. Let's see here. N31, ooh, I actually can't get very much life. I need to get accuracy. But let's go for another proj first. Probably fine. Um, I, I think that like talking with people and being willing to have differing opinions from someone and being willing to argue from differing opinions is like a trait that I like. I, I, Jesus, dude, always crits and hasted. Okay, here we go. Just dying multiple times in a row. Um, I, I like those in people. Do you think going Rain of Arrows first until they have more prod to be smoother? Um... I think that Rain of Arrows is fine. But um I think the I think the limit is when you get a four link, right? Because you just go um just go LMP. But um I, I think that it's a good trait to be willing to like argue your points and not just like bend over when anybody that is maybe like let me put it this way, right? Like if there is someone who is big and popular with a lot of like social clout or something, and they say something, right? I think it's a halfway decent, like, personality trait to not just gobble their fucking dick on everything that they say, right? And be willing to do some pushback, but to be kind of reasonable about it, right? Like, you don't just want to, I'm going to put portal down, you don't just want to be, like, argumentative at all times for any reason, but, like, I think it's good to be willing to do a little bit of pushback regardless of, like, if it's, you know big important person or something because a lot of the time those people are fucking wrong like trust just because someone is like popular does not mean that they are right uh, these bows are bad clip it yourself then gamer be the change you want to see in the world Popularity equals correct? True, dude. You said it you said it in Twitch chat, so it must be correct, right? Alright, let's see. Next build is gonna be cold dot. Probably elementalist, almost assuredly elementalist. The Chieftain is good, and all the streamers are wrong in gaslighting us. True based. I think Chieftain will have a couple cool builds, probably. But for League Start scenario, almost assuredly not. Like, I don't think starting something brand new is ever a great idea. But will it have some cool interactions and stuff later? I think so. Come on, get up in there. All right, yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Doesn't want to be clicked, dude. The thing about me is that I don't have those social receptors that compel people just to get along and follow a similar path. Yeah, I can tell. 
Yeah, Creeping Frost is probably not like a good build anymore, just in and of itself. You know what I need? I need a Pierce Quiver. That's what I'm missing. That's why my that's why my clear isn't as good. I need a Pierce Quiver. I needeth a Pierce Quiver. Let's go find one. Welcome. Thinking emoji. He's starting ball lightning signs. Not a good idea. No, it was a terrible idea. Do you need? I also got baited super hard. Don't ever give up. Yes. Where do quivers even spawn? We do this. Um, Minion Cascade might get nerfed. Yeah. I don't think Lightning Arrow itself will be nerfed. Where even are quivers? Like, there's one. Nice. It's even a piercing one. All right, we're losing life and resists, because why not? Needs resist, boys. And I got damage. When you get patch notes Thursday. All right, we have Pierce now, so we should be quite a bit better on clear. Should feel quite a bit better. We can drop this quiver once we get the next ascendancy. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about, brother. Any idea how good bad melee would be in 3.22? Probably about the same if I had to guess. Um, I My personal take is that I don't think Bone Shatter is getting changed. Um, I think Trauma will potentially make some things a little bit better, but um, I think it's gonna be about the same as it is now. I don't think it's gonna change significantly, uh, which means Bone Shatter will be good. Um, most of the other melee abilities will... I am frozen for so long. Most of the other melee abilities will be pretty mediocre. Um, are you dead eye? Yes. We are dead eye. Melee will be fine. That hit me? I disagree. I disagree. I think you cheated, game. Get Chris in here, right now. Where's he at? Why is your game cheating, huh? It surely is not my fault. I'm playing the best build with tons of tankiness. Surely that was not my fault. Bad thing is, I think, yeah, I, I think the boss was like right there too. <laughs> I really not. New support gem? Aw, oh, shit. New support gem? Twitter.com. It'll probably be the first thing. Devour support? necessarily see that being amazing it could be okay for like 
a couple very niche scenarios. I will use it just for corpse removal. True, dude. Why not just go axes instead, though, gamer? Please, minion buff. Yeah, dude, now that we know that we're not getting the PoE2 gem system, can minions not be in the trash can besides, like, one or two minion builds? Or is that not allowed? Damn, dude. Stun locked me, bro. Oh. Heavy belt? Damn. Unlucky. Yeah, it's con it's consuming the corpses. Auras? My auras are. Are you asking what my auras are? Anger and haste. Um, this one. Am I the only one that thinks minions are better than melee? In what way? Gameplay feel? You're probably pretty lonely there. Um. Well, no. All the way around. Gameplay feel, you're probably in the, uh... Probably in the clear. Most everyone feels that way. Um, Strength-wise? Probably also in the clear. I'm not up to that. Melee is just kind of sad, besides Bone Shatter. Ooh, another chance at a halfway decent helmet. Let's go. Just gotta get the colors on it and hope that it rolls well with an alchemy orb. It's basically what, like poison SRS and like one specter build that's being removed from the game next league. Um, Grace would be good if you wanted to like die less but not go as fast, for sure. Can you explain mana forged arrows a bit and what's best use for it. Um, there's two use cases for Mana Forged Arrows at the moment. Right now, I'm using Mana Forged Arrows as just like a way to proc some free abilities. Ensnaring Arrow, Frenzy, things like that. Um, there are some use cases, like you can go watch the video by Palstron, where you essentially like abuse mana costs to make it so that you just proc a whole bunch of free abilities constantly. Um, I think there's potential for that way to get nerfed. But the basic idea behind it is that it procs whatever linked abilities to it whenever you spend a certain amount of mana on other abilities. True. Can't wait to do Control F Vengeance Cascade and see the, the horror. Uh, I don't think Poison SRS is getting gutted. I just said that's one of the, like, few good minion builds. Versus Control F Champion. Ah, oh, yes. I doubt they'll just randomly, like, nerf the champion out of nowhere. That would be kind of silly. Is that a cope take? In my opinion, the era of randomly killing abilities is no longer here. Um, it's basically only when the community like fucking screams for it do they just like randomly destroy abilities. They don't really do that anymore. Um, it's it's very very rare. Something has to be unbelievably popular for them to just kill it, right? Like, it has to be so insanely just synonymous with the entire community that everyone is just like, yeah, I'm tired of this shit. Uh, 
Uh, do you agree with Captain Lance on the new chieftain basically needs to be rolled back? What, into a ascendancy that no one played? Uh, I would rather us have something new and try to find some stuff with it that is potentially possible rather than just have the old chieftain that was just bad and not really interesting and not really fun. Um, so yeah, I, I don't necessarily agree. I think there's some potential for some interesting stuff there, like the strike stuff could be potentially good. Um, so I don't know. I think Old Chieftain was really boring. I don't think it was interesting at all. Okay. Alright, so this is a four link. We need one red. Could also go one blue and recolor the chest piece. Let's try for one red. Please? I guess that helmet is meant to be blue. Alright. Good to know. Wasn't aware. It's decent. It's evasion at least. I can I can't craft life on it. I can craft resists. What do you think about PUE on console? Would you consider playing one league on PlayStation, for example? Absolutely not. I've played with a controller and it is not fun besides um, besides for use as a divination card opening simulator. Hmm. Thinking emoji. I cannot use those. I'll need the pierce for a very long time. I mean, Blade Trap's okay at the super high end. practice run today it started off pretty bad but i mean the rng is kind of just picking up again like we're doing okay on rng it's not insane rng right like we haven't gotten to that level yet but um rng's still pretty decent just not as crazy guardian will be less than one percent ascendancy until ggg giga buffs it i mean isn't it already what's the percentage use on guardian right now is it is it one per is it even one percent? Is it one percent this league? Juju was nerfing things left and right because only eight to twenty people were working on it. Maybe buff league now? Ooh, true, dude. What a weird layout. Guardian is 0.8%. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be very much higher than that. Unless the unless the new Sentinel nodes are good. Yeah, where the fuck? you post your VOD somewhere? It's on the YouTube channel. It's just on a playlist. I'm not going to have it like on the, the main front page of my channel. Uh, you go look at the VOD playlist on YouTube. Yeah, and there's like the live section as well. You can go there and it should be there. Yeah, I mean, 
It's really hard to, for anybody to complain about ascendancies while the gladiator is literally sitting, like, abused and crying in the corner. That poor, poor man. There's an ascendancy here, right? Yeah, I don't think um, I don't think Pee Wee One and Pee Wee Two are gonna feel the same at all. I think they're gonna feel very, very different. Um, so yeah, I, I I don't necessarily agree with that take. Let me out. What just dropped? I heard a drop sound, but I don't see anything. I don't think it's the orb of chance. Weird. This monster behind me is chasing me. Don't leave me alone, dude. Oh, hatred essence? Okay. I just died instantly to something. I think it was trail of fire. There was also caustic ground. That was some crazy shit, dude. I just want the essence, bro. I just want the essence. Where's the essence mob? Jesus. I got no fire res, bro. Holy. Gamer. South, you say? This doesn't look like it's south. Uh, Chris said that they were going to compete with each other. Like, he said they wanted them to compete with each other. Like, from an internal perspective, so I guess it depends on how you're saying it. Like, he said in the interview with Subtractum that, um, you know, they want to one-up the Pee Wee 2 team and they want to try to do stuff better or be better than them or whatever, you know? That's what he said. I believe in the zoom, yeah. The zoom zoom and the boom boom. The zoom zoom, the boom boom, and the doom doom. Oh, okay, yep. Very nice. Dying a lot more to random shit this time. My gear, I'm going faster and my gear has significantly less resistances on it. That was just kind of a shitty scenario to be honest. Are you res, <laughs> res capped? <laughs> huh. That's funny, dude. That's funny that you think that I have, that I have resistances. That's funny that you think that I have resistances, bro. Listen, okay? I don't see problems yet. We're fine. We are gaming, dude. Look at that. All right, we actually probably need to fix shit. Okay. I'll fix shit. Um, nice. 19 lightning res. Open suffix. Uh, cool. Those are actually pretty good. Um, 
Hmm. Probably could go buy a better ring from the vendor, huh? Let's see. Let's see. Damn, I just wanted a, just wanted some, I just wanted some resist rings, bro. What is this? Uh, I could use a red. I need. Stop! Stop talking to me. I don't care what you have to say. I don't want Groose. Thing Groose can literally rot in hell for all I care, dude. Motherfucker, spit on me. That's assault. No movement speed. No movement speed, Ricarino. Okay, um, probably don't need this. I maybe swap that out later. Sell this. Purchase. Random resist ring. Hit it with an alchemy, right? Probably. Do I have essences? Ring, energy shield. Other jewelry, physical damage to attacks. I don't want to use contempts for sure. Uh, lightning damage. There we go. Wow, that's terrible. Holy. Better than this, though. Um, Alright, now we can go craft some stuff on the gear. Now we can go craft some stuff on the gear. Let's see, resistances. I need lightning resist. Um, no open suffix. Open suffix. This has lightning resist on it already. Second one I need is cold res. Cold res. No suffixes. I should just use a different helmet probably at that point. Open suffix. Lightning res. Okay, that has strength on it, which I need. Holy, I'm trolling. Trolling. 100 accuracy. Suffix is full. I really not have another ring. Uh, okay. Um. No suffixes there. No suffixes there. All right. That's much better than what I was before. How is that? How are you equipping that gem? The boots themselves give me the strength to equip that gem. You think about the new trauma support gym? Could it help melee skills get more popular? I'm hesitant to say that until I actually see like some patch notes or something for it. Cause like right now it would just be the random speculation. We know nothing about it, right? Um, it's just essentially random speculation at this point. So could it be better? Absolutely. Will it be better? We've seen that it doesn't work with multi hits which is the case of how it currently works. So we know it doesn't work with multi-hits, so that's out. Um, that's a four link. I can maybe try to alchemy this or something. Um, so yeah, I mean, we don't know anything else about it realistically. Because the thing about it is, is that now you are going to need some way to prevent physical damage to yourself to be able to use that. So it's like, the question is, if you're going through all of that trouble to get that functioning, right? To get the trauma functioning, is there a reason to not just play Bone Shatter with it? If there is, then it'll be fine. If people can't find a reason to not just play Bone Shatter, then people will probably just play Bone Shatter, right? Hope there's a little bit of flat added on trauma. Doubtful. Unfortunately. Alright. Okay, we have all of them. A man can dream. You can dream as much as you want. You can dream as much as you want.
Copium, dude. Copium. Melee? Good again? Who's your supplier? Give me their name right the fuck now. You got that good shit, bro. Yeah, good again, huh? <laughs> Melee, good? I remember. The year was 1983. Before the end of the good times. The next year, it all ended. GGG said, we're not gonna allow you to play melee builds. That's illegal. Literally 1984, dude. What skill had the biggest pleasantly surprised effect since the first Crucible patch notes? I don't think very many skills changed, right? Um, I mean, the thing that took away the most power from patch notes in uh, Crucible was SST. Did I just see Alva in Dread Thicket? Uh, I don't think so. I just saw Alva there, right? I think. Who is Justin and why is he in time? Oh, that was just death, dude. Instant, unadulterated death. I don't, I don't think even with resistances I would have survived that. That was just like eight bajillion projectiles. Just all coming at my face. I just lagged real hard. Need an instant life flask. I should probably roll one. Do I have a hollowed life flask? I do. Let's do that while I'm thinking about it. Um, I think I have enough alterations. I have a div card for 10 alterations as well. Nice. Let's go, dude. Okay, we can keep that. Is this good? Nope. Is this good? It's slow. It's got huge cold damage, but it's slow. It's like really slow. 346 total DPS. That's worse. Okay. Yeah, it was really, really slow. Yuna, take my fireflies, please. Um, I need strength. Give me the beef. Right, and we can take no block, cause yeah. And then I think from here we start grabbing life nodes, yeah. Start grabbing life shit. So I think we I think we need to start scaling a tiny bit of life here because we're kind of we're kind of squish squish. Have you seen the Mana Forge COC tech? Um, not sure. I've seen a bunch of Mana Forge tech, but maybe not particularly that one. Yep, cock. Uh, I think I went the wrong way. I don't know this layout super well. I think it's around here. I think it's like here somewhere. Like it's in this area on the map. Yo, pulse around, stop. Oh, did I not? Okay, I went the wrong way again. It's like right here. Or it's not. Oh. 
the fuck is it then? Is it right there? Huh. That means it's like way the fuck up there. Is this that one weird layout? Because I know there's the cliff layout, which I know how it works, but then there's like one other weird layout where it's just like way the fuck in the back. Is that this? Because I think this is Alva. Where the fuck is it? I'm so lost now. Huh. Oh, is that it? That might be it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this one is just way the fuck up here. Is it in line? No, it's off by a decent amount. Wow. Yeah, that's one of the weird layouts. Okay, um, we got that. We need to grab... I think we need a little bit of accuracy, right? 1459. Oh, no, we don't need accuracy yet. Um, we can just grab this life for now. We can grab all three of those life nodes, I think. Uh, the last run through, we had the cliff layout, which is real easy. You just follow the wall and then do a left and it's right there. Uh, most of the time, it's like directly up into the left of where you start, right? Like it's just in a direct line up into the left. And it's typically not that far away, you just have to go around a wall. But there's occasionally, like if Alva spawns there and moves it sometimes, it can go like way the fuck up in the top, and that's what that, that one was. How does leveling feel? Pretty good. Um, I'm obviously trolling a little bit, and even getting just that little tiny bit of extra resistance made me significantly tankier. Because I was at what, like negative 20 lightning resist or some crazy shit? Um, I'm only at like 20 resist now, but I'm literally taking like probably a fourth of the damage I was uh, before. Yeah, I mean, lightning arrow leveling feels fucking amazing. Like, this just feels so good. But you're squishy as hell. YouTube is cucking you? Well, there is another, there is another realm that you could enter if you wanted to. linked in the description. Thinking <sighs> starting Reign of Arrows and reroll to LATS later. Um, you play Reign of Arrows on this build for a while until you get the four link. Um, but I think you could do either. It's not like massively different. I just think Lightning Arrow feels a little better once you can get it going for clear. Because, um... Because the thing about it is, is your single target is all the ballista, right? It's the artillery ballista. So you're just looking for something that just does good clear. Um, I'll show you here on this boss that you can swap to barrage and do quite a bit of damage. Um, even, yeah, I mean, even in leveling, right? Because I mean, like, look at the look at the clear that I've got here, right? Like with just lightning arrow, it just it goes much further as the thing. So if you're one shotting stuff anyways, why not just one shot most of the screen instead of just like the circle that's in front of you, right? I really need Tornado. I just don't have enough links. Maybe I should try to get more links on my bow. Try to go for like a four socket on my bow real quick. Use up my jewelers. I think I have a few, right? I just, I just need more links. I have two jewelers. Fuck. I could try to go to this chest piece. Okay, that's one red, meaning I can swap to this. Okay. Okay. We're gaming. Build Jenga is happening. Okay, 
so that gives us another red slot, which means we can move that there. Uh, it's red though, that kind of sucks. Meaning I could probably get a different pair of boots now. Um, do I have another pair of boots that have movement speed? These don't have movement speed. Open prefix. These have movement speed. What level are these? I don't want to just use these and just craft move speed on them. Cat finally trained my cat. My cat finally trained my cat to understand that thumbs up means go eat dumbass. Nice. 14%? I mean, that's better than what we had already. Okay. Gaming. So now we can just sit barrage in there. We can put tornado in there. Um, I need another blue slot for frost blink. Or I could use dash. I like frost blink, though. How hard will it be to get one blue? Okay, we got it. Easy. Okay, and then we can move Anger back there for now. Okay, gaming. All right, my resistances, I need lightning and fire. Open suffix. I need lightning quite a bit more. Resist, let's check here. No open suffix there either way, so. I need lightning and fire, probably just do Lightning res and just be happy. I need a different amulet eventually. Okay, sell, 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 all right? I would like a different heavy belt, but. Yeah, I th think we're gaming. All right. Is this LA build something you can switch over to Tornado Shot? Sure, you can do that. Okay, so now I need to swap out Barrage for LMP, which means I want it to go there. So it's just easy to do that. What the? What the hell? Okay, anyways, put those down. You hit Barrage, you do the damage, right? Big deeps. Um, okay, I need... My tornado to be there. Put it down, you do the damage, right? Pretty good, right? And that's with like, not even a crazy bow, right? Like my bow's whatever this time. What are we talking about? What is this song? You really gonna do you really gonna like try to quote uh what's his name bruce lee in there i i don't know it's very i feel very strange i don't know what's going on here be like water friend all right um life yes This build feels really good. Like when you um the the time you swap over to Lightning Arrow is about the four link. Because you need LMP and Mirage Archer and you wanna have like one damage link. I think that was the reasoning that Goan gave, right? Like you wanna be able to have like one damage link on your ability, and if you go like Mirage Archer and LMP, it's gonna kinda feel a little bad. So yeah. So you want both of those things, and um, the first time you can get those, as well as a damage link, uh, is a four link. So that's when you do. Because like that clear right there, you just you're just not gonna get that with um with rain of arrows, right? Like it's just not gonna go that far, that deep, that quickly, right?
The only problem is, it's probably not going to last that long. Because, you know, kind of a bit of a lightweight. You get one tapped. The one pump chump, but that one pump is uh, pretty big. You feel me? Lacquered garb. Yeah, like, the amount of damage that this build does is actually disgusting early. Like, I know I'm essentially just foregoing all defenses for damage, but it's just like, still, even then, right? Like, I just, it just does so much. Like, it's just, it's just, it's silly, dude. Like, it's just, it's just so silly, man. Like, yeah, I can't take a hit, but do I need to worry about taking a hit when the boss dies that fast? You know, it's like, what does it, what does it matter, you know? I almost don't see a locket on the ground. What do you mean? I'm dead. Oh, uh, maybe I'm not dead. Much of just one 20% quality gem on League Start heavily depends on the gem. Um, the most it could ever be would be 20 GCP. However much that is. Right? Can't pick this up, dude. Ellie hit? I wouldn't assume that it'd be that much. No one plays Ellie hit, so You'd probably get one for a couple chaos, maybe. Maybe 10 chaos at the most. Probably. I don't know. Um, I need projectile speed. Yeah, I wouldn't assume that Ellie hit is very expensive at all. Yeah, bow builds are so tanky, dude. Look at me. I got all the tankiness, my guy. Is this the way? I think that's probably the way to the next zone. People will pay me to take a 20% for it. Yeah, true, dude. Take this off of my hands, gamer. That might be the best item we've dropped so far. And it's a heavy belt? I might have spoke too soon. I just dropped a thicket bow, boys. as tanky as Lance was on that ESRF build. Not trying to be gamer. Not trying to be. Ross.
What the? Huh? Four link ivory bow. That's a good base. I can use that essence of hatred we have on that. Come on, click it. 69, 420 base. All right, 13, 4. Okay. 13, 45. We have 15, 63. Okay, we're good. You are baiting yourself quite hard, dude. You're really, you're really prepping yourself for some fun, dude. I mean, the thing about it that you can think of is that worst case, if it doesn't work, you could swap to like something else that does work, you know? It's like in the worst case scenario, you're still not completely boned. And if you are completely boned, then just bone yourself too with bone zone. Hey, what's up, Menjai? Menjai. Good gamer. How'd you like it? Where is the little corpse? So pro tip, if you don't know, the way forward in this area is always wherever there is a little disembodied body part or corpse at the door. You see this? That means it's the way forward. If you don't see one of those, it is not the way forward. Lighting arrow endgame viable? Um, what do you mean by endgame? The little corpse right there? The way forward. There's lots of those little, there's lots of those little tips that work all throughout the campaign. <laughs> like breadcrumbs, but with limbs. True. Bloody little breadcrumbs, dude. Oh, isn't it following into your videos while looking for PewDiePie content? Your unbelievably positive attitude. Always so reassuring a community that loves the dooms they scare themselves. Damn, it's rare to see that. Man, at 3.19, you probably didn't like me very much, did you? 3.19, you probably didn't like me very much, huh? Well, I'm glad that you like my content now. Yeah, 3.19, I was pretty uh, pretty negative, but I think just about everybody was. 3.19, 3.15. Me? Positive? Crazy. How goes LA? Quite good. Uh, probably the most fun that I've had so far. Most enjoyable. This, this just feels like cheat codes, almost. Like... Yeah, I die occasionally, but I'm fast as fuck, boy. Uh, I do the big damage. I hit him very hard. Feels good, man. Um, they feel similar. Lightning Arrow has better clear. Ice Shot is a little better on bosses. Overall in-game, but also Uber content. I don't know if you want to be doing Ubers on Lightning Arrow. If you want to be doing Ubers, at that point, you're probably transitioning into like a big giant Tornado Shot build that is like one-shotting the ubers um and spending like an unbelievable amount of money i think for lightning arrow you're probably focusing on clearing stuff um i'm not using blood rage just because i'm kind of lazy and i have frenzy on mana forged arrows at the moment so yeah that's what i'm currently doing you could use blood rage absolutely it'd be fine but I'm using Ensnaring Arrow and Frenzy on Mana Forged Arrows right now. I can't believe I didn't have that ticked. What the hell? Huh? I'm lost. Yeah, you can do Eater and you can do Exarch, but I probably would not suggest... Um, uber elder or maven on the build you probably just want to buy those with the money you make or transition into a different build you typically don't go big bow builds because you want to like do bosses right that's that's typically not the choice that you're making i would say 
Um, it does good boss damage like right now, yeah, because we're just like wrecking shit. But at the super end game, um, you can still do damage, but you can also expect to just instantly be one shot. Okay, it's not that good. We got him, boys. We're safe. Um, what do I need? I don't know what resistances I need. I need fire and lightning. Fire and lightning, please. 7% of damage taken recouped his life in an open suffix. Probably just going to essence that other bow. Or the other thing. But I will essence a bow as well. MF is a thing. Um, they just kind of neutered it pretty hard. Probably just roll something on that. That's just not that good. You just swap to that. Craft life on it. Oh, I was going to swap to the belt too. Great. Um, I need to go more accuracy first. More accuracy. I was going to use this essence on the bow, right? This one. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> what is happening, bro? <laughs> just hit, bro. A <laughs> forehead, dude, just hit forehead. <laughs> just hit forehead. What's the DPS? <laughs> Holy, dude. I have to, right? I have to, yeah? <laughs> I, I have to use this, right? I have to use this Exalted Orb, right? <laughs> I have to, right? Okay, stun duration. <sighs> if I would have gotten crit chance there, I probably would have just deleted this character. We're safe though, boys. Whew. All right, stun duration it is. <laughs> Holy man, what is this bow? Okay, brother. Okay, brother man. Minimum roll? I can't use a scour. Actually unethical right now. What is happening? Okay, no open suffix there, no open suffix there. Open suffix here. I need fire resistance. Fire resistance there. And I need lightning resistance next. Um, oh, we're going to hit that with an essence. Sure. Oh, that's not the right item. Hit this with just random essence. That's pretty bad. Uh, is it better than this? Yes, because it has an open suffix. But what do we need now? Um, we need cold and lightning. Can I do hybrid cold and lightning? Cold and lightning. That's way more. Let's just do lightning. So it can take you through red maps? Yeah, probably. Yeah, yellows is probably a little safer. Um, the uh, the lightning damage is a little low, but it's still really good. Still insanely good, right? Tempest Barrage. This game. We're next teaser. Are we getting two a day? Is, is that what's happening? Oh, it might be right here, actually. Ooh, what's my offense actually? My accuracy? 1945. Okay. Oh, because I have four greens on my main my main weapon now. So I got a bunch of accuracy there. 
Your character smoking from Tailwind? Yeah, dude, true. Look at it. Dude, this is actually so unethical, it's insane. Uh, which way is it? This is so silly, bro. Getting that beginner's luck. Yeah, we went through Devour support already. Looks like maybe it'll enable one or two cool things, but not like anything crazy. Like a Pee 2 support gem? Yeah, actually. Little lightning seems to work out great for Trinity? Yeah. Please unlock the crucible tree on that bow. Maybe later. Not right now, though. Yeah, Mirage Archer is clearing most things right now with just one shot, too. <laughs> I was in lab, so sorry for the late message. Fuck you. True, dude. <laughs> oh, I was waiting. I was waiting for you to say something, dude. I was waiting on it. I was like, dude, he's going to be so upset. <laughs> oh, he's going to be so upset, man. How much DPS is it? Um, 514 and 409 Ellie. I even exalted it to see if I could get crit chance, but I got stun duration. Didn't get my second four link till act eight? Yeah. <laughs> I have five four links. <laughs> I can't get a, uh, did you craft attack speed? Yeah, I crafted attack speed. Um, I can't, I can't just do poorly on this build, dude. It's just, it's just giving me everything. Is it another unethical run? Yeah, yeah, it is. You end up going full time as a content creator? S sort of. Um, sort of. So I'm doing kind of some side stuff. Uh, one thing that I have kind of been working on is I'm doing content creation management for people. So I have a relatively unique skill set in content creation. There's not a lot of people who have succeeded in some manner as a content creator who also have like legitimate management experience. Um, so that's a relatively unique skill set. And um, I've kind of been dabbling a little bit into that casually, but um, it's kind of going well. So essentially the idea would be there is that if some person either wanted to pay like consulting fees for how to like get started with content creation, or if they just wanted like full management in the sense of I do all the money stuff for them and give them like overall direction and guidance on the channel and then just cut a percentage. Um, essentially that, right? And that's going relatively well. My first bits and forays into it seem to be successful. I'm not up to that yet. We Mafia. But um, yeah, beyond that, I'm doing full-time content creation for myself. Uh, I got laid off from my job in the sense that my department just got completely deleted um, because of like the new stuff that's happening in tech. And um, yeah, my apartment just got completely shut down and there was just no job to be had. So not really much that I could do there. But I had enough savings that I could survive for a while doing nothing if I wanted to. and. That's kind of what I did, and I just tried to get some perspective on my life and make sure that I was doing what I wanted to do. Full-time hentai artist win? Goob tried that. It's a it's a tough gig, dude. You gotta draw weird shit. And change it till my endgame two fit arrow fizz bow. My luckiest moment on LA League or something like that. I craft a 900 EDPS bow and early yellows. Nuts, dude. Nutty. 
the um so essentially i just did nothing for a while i tried to figure out if this is what i wanted to do and essentially my plan is right now is i'm just going to do the content creation thing i'm going to give it give it a good shot um if i can't manage it or it doesn't work well enough i will either slowly transition into like doing content management for other people or i'll just go find another job in my previous field Okay, right here's our next bow. Obviously, it'll be amazing, right? Not great. Work for Vero? Yep. Thirty percent movement speed. Open prefix. Bye. I need it to be linked, so I can do that later. If I can't manage, I'll move to managing. True. That's not where I wanted to go. Could buy another two stone. I have a lot of trash gear, but I pretty much only, um, I pretty much only do changes to the build. Like, I go out of my way to make changes to the build when I have a reason to do it, right? And right now, I'm just kind of one-shotting everything and not having very many issues. So I'm not too worried about it. I think GGG will buff mana? Hmm. Not so sure. Okay. Those are chance orbs. Uh, I have to pick up the chance orbs. That would only slow me down. Uh, I don't really have a ton of room, but I want the chance orbs. Portal here, go do the moon orb thing, then die. Yeah, that probably makes sense. That's most likely faster. I can't even see what's going on. They're just like constantly switching back and forth and I can't see where they're attacking. I couldn't see shit there, dude. If I'm gonna be if I'm gonna be straight up with you, I couldn't see anything. How do you find a returner's magic should be special? Easily one of my favorites so far. What's up, Moose? It's easily one of my favorite like manwas, mangas, whatever it is. I don't know. Um, it's easily one of my favorites that I've read so far. I actually really, really like it. What are chance orbs a special gear thing? Um, when you vendor certain rare items, or am I missing something there? If you vendor two rare items with the same name, they, um, it gives you a chance orb. Uh, I'm up to date. How did you yoink IT management job at such a relatively low age? Uh, networking. You wanna know the actual, you wanna know the actual, uh, way that I did it? By playing World of Warcraft. <laughs> um, I had, uh, I had management experience. I had management experience and then um and then I had a friend who was working in a smaller company who needed a manager as it was getting a little bit larger and um I was like yeah I've got management experience IRL and he's like all right cool you want to do like a remote management and just see how it works out for you I was like yeah sure and I started and I excelled pretty well um and then when the company got larger, I moved up with that and then it just went from there. And then eventually um, I used that to transition into a different job that was similar. And that was how I got into that. Okay, we need that leech now. Um, yeah, the the new I, I'm caught up with um, I'm caught up with uh, Returner's Magic should be special. It's really lucky. I agree. Um, I think that unfortunately, most things in life have to do with luck. 
Uh, I think the thing that you should be focusing on when it comes to life in general is giving yourself the opportunity to be lucky. I should have just sold shit there. I guess I'll just portal real quick. You should just give yourself the opportunity to be lucky. I think that is one of the biggest keys to like doing well in life or as well as you can is that um, a lot of people have an issue where they will like not allow themselves to be lucky, right? Like they won't, they won't give themselves the chance to do well at whatever they're doing, yeah? Like there's a lot of people who say, I wanna be a content creator, right? And then I'm like, okay, where is your content? And they're just deer in headlights, right? That's like the first thing that they, they say to me, right? Because um, I've done a little bit of like free consulting for friends and stuff before. Yes. And um, they, they'll say something like, hey, yeah, I, I want to get into content. It seems really cool. It's something I've always wanted to do. I'm really passionate about this, this, and this. And I'm like, okay, well, where is your content? Deer in headlights immediately. And it's like, if you're wanting to be a content creator, where is your content, right? That's just kind of what it comes down to. It's like, if you don't have content, you're not a content creator. It's like, you are not a content creator. It's like, well, I stream like once or twice a week. I'm like, that's not content, dude. No one's ever gonna find you. Do you have a YouTube channel? Do you have a TikTok? Do you have an Instagram? Uh, do you have a Fansly? Do you have an OnlyFans? Do you, like, what do you have, right? Do you have anything? No, well, go do that and then come talk to me. That's making yourself giving yourself the opportunity to be lucky, right? You have to focus on like algorithmic based content. Um, like you need to focus on algorithmic based content and just get some stuff out there. Cause I, I can't just, I, I can give you like the keys to know how to do that. But like, unless I can see what you're working with, I, I can't do anything for you, right? Like, like, yeah, you could work super hard and do everything correct as a content creator for like, I don't know how long, right? Like you could do it for months, maybe even a year or two and not see any reasonable real results. It could happen, but you'll never know unless you actually like try, you know? Like I'm not saying that you need to be the best. I'm not saying that you need to have like God tier content immediately, right? You don't need to match what other people are doing, but you need to have something. I feel like you can't really know what you need help with until you've at least tried the thing. Yes, exactly, right? It's like, I can't really help you until you've at least done the, the basic due diligence. Um, I feel like we need a lot more thoughtful direction than our parents. Uh, I feel a lot of people become parents because they just decided to not be careful <laughs> and just decided to let their hormones and everything overtake their ability to rationalize and they probably didn't want to be parents, right? That probably wasn't something that they wanted to do and then they weren't really good parents. Um, you can, I, I hate saying this, but like you can tell in children very easily um, whether or not they were raised by parents who were stressed. Um, it's very easy to tell, right? Um, there are outliers, but like if you have like, let me let me try to explain something a little bit broader scope before I go forward with that. So the idea is is that when it comes to like growth as a human, typically um, how you spent your formative years and how you were like what tools you were given in your formative years determine how well you do with later stuff, right? So like for example, um, if as a child you run into a problem, right? Like whatever that problem might be, it might be that you spilled your milk, right? Depending on if your parent got upset with you and yelled at you and scolded you over dropping that milk, or if they were like, okay, let's clean this up, let's get it fixed, let's get you a new cup of milk, and let's figure out a way for you to not spill it in the future. Those two parenting styles will produce significantly different results in how people treat like treat their like bigger problems later in life, right? Because if your parent just yelled at you and told you to like, why are you so stupid? How did you drop that? You don't do that, that's bad. That's significantly worse and just not giving that child the tools that it needs to be able to learn later on when they have an actual real big problem, how to properly deal with it, right? And then that cycle just propagates. Like one person does that to their kids and then the next kid thinks that that's just the way that it is and then they do that to their kids and it just goes on and on and on and on. But you can tell when someone has parents that are willing to be like, 
slow and teach them how to deal with things and not get overly upset with things you can tell when when like the difference between that child and one that's just screamed at all the time right the third option is just cleaning up for them and getting them more without any communication yeah that's also another option that could turn them into you know unable to do anything for themselves as well what's up Kidrov? uh build's going pretty solid dude do you have kids? No, and I don't plan to have kids. Um, if I ever were to have, be in charge of raising any humans, it would be through adoption. Uh, I myself have like really bad mental genetics, unfortunately. Like there's lots of mental illness that runs in my family and the world is in not like the greatest place right now. So if I got to the point where I felt comfortable enough to be able to like be responsible for raising a kid, I'd probably just adopt. Is that true? It sounds like such a basic skill of parenting. Is that true? It's a lot of parents do the exact opposite. Yeah, it's it's what tools you give the child when they are young will influence the way that they're able to handle things later. Like how they deal with a cup of spilled milk might seem like super insignificant to you at the time, but you have to understand that for a child that's literally their entire life right then in that moment is just that cup of spilled milk. And then being able to understand that it's not the end of the world, things are not going to explode, Things are not going to, you know, they're not going to be yelled at for making that mistake. And you give them the tools to be able to fix that problem. That'll translate into them being able to do that with much more important things later. Um, I have four. Let me tell you, those ideas sound great on paper, but the real world is different. Um, sure, you can think that, but I disagree with you heavily. Um, it is not an impossible task right like if you are not able to give your child that environment you shouldn't have had the child like if you are not in my opinion right like you probably shouldn't have had the child yeah like if you are not set and being able to like give that child that exact environment why not focus on yourself first right that's my opinion on it because, like, maybe you're just not ready to be a parent yet. I think it's super irresponsible to just randomly have children and not be ready to raise them, in my opinion. Oh, we need to do a lab here. What is this forum thread? This post we will compile all the Path of Exile trial events or teasers as they're posted. Huh? Oh, is this a new one? What is this? Timeless conflict. I don't have a POV. Legion encounters in your map have no timer. Breaking up monsters in chests that are in stasis progressively causes a schism. Legion encounters in your maps begin once the schism has occurred. Amazing Yo, how up, I drop? can't always see the stream, but every month I come back and see I may sub again XD. Appreciate you, gamer. Thank you for the eight months. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I'm assuming... I'm assuming that that means that you can't clear the entire thing? I'm assuming that that's what that means, right? Like... Um... I'm assuming the way that that works is like, you kill a certain amount of enemies, and eventually when you kill like maybe like 60% of the mobs, then it pops, right? But if you're like, so that that's going to be for someone who wants to play Legion but can't clear it efficiently. But if you're like a super fast player who can clear it super fast, you'd be better off just not doing it. It is a brand new term, yeah. But that's what I would assume that that's the way that that works, right? what I would assume. You know, slow builds, you should get like 80%? Maybe. It very much depends on your builds. Some builds are just really bad at Legion. So, I mean, if you're just like getting random Legions, then that's probably fine. <laughs> Is the schism nearby you? Is it in the room with you right now?
Yeah, I mean, uh, back to the parenting thing. I understand that, you know, like, shit happens and circumstances are different and, you know, shit changes. But, um, in my mind, I think that raising kids is a very important task. It's something that should be given, like, a lot of effort and a lot of thought. And I feel that we are not really prepared fully most of the time. And especially, I think that society doesn't do a great job. Like, I think it's it's very sad that most children, their entire life is they wake up in the morning, they go to school, their parents are at work all day, and then they see them for maybe an hour or two, and their parents are exhausted by the time that they see them, and they get no interaction with them. That That's most kids' lives, right? And I feel that that is kind of unfortunate. It feels pretty bad. Um, so, obviously, there's no, like, easy solution to it, but... At the end of the day, I just, I wish there was more education in the sense of, well, until you are able to give that child a bit of a better life, maybe don't have the child yet, but. All right. Dad's a small business owner. I've been employed basically full time since I was 13, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's rough. I mean, I get that circumstances never work out perfectly. Trust me that I understand. Um, but, you know. It's a very large-scale societal problem, and those are not easily fixable by any means, so. Spine bow. Not as good as this one, I don't think, right? No. Okay. People always waited for the perfect conditions to have kids, we would go extinct. I understand that, and I get the idea behind that, um, but I don't, I don't necessarily agree. I think that consumerism and capitalism wouldn't work as it currently does, but I don't think we would go extinct. Yeah, I, I'm never I'm never in the camp of blaming the child, right? Like that's the last thing that I think should be done because they did not have a choice in any of it. So it's like it's it's very frustrating when, you know, like cause when I was a kid, um I don't wanna get too much into it because I don't wanna talk too bad about my parents, but um when I was a kid, a lot of the time, uh, I was basically raised by my grandmother, right? Um my mom was in school and she went to school and my dad was working construction and he was just working all day. I did have a little bit of time with them in the evenings, but most of my day was wake up. I got driven to grandma's house. They went to work and then I hung out with grandma for a little bit. She got me ready for school. She took me to school or walked me to the bus stop, whichever it was at the time. And then I went to school all day. I came home. I was at grandma's house after school. And then at like six or seven o'clock at night, I would come home. And then I would see my parents for the first time realistically that day where I was actually fully awake. Um, and then, you know, I would go from there. But that was pretty much how most of my life was. So I, didn't, I just didn't really ever see my parents, right? Um, I saw my grandma all day, which was fine. I love my grandma and she raised me and it is what it is. But, you know. Okay. That. Another Quicksilver. I don't think I use another one. Another one. Uh, maps. Where's my map tab? Oh, it's just not situated. So, like, it would have been nice to have a little bit more than that, but the circumstances didn't really allow it for whatever was going on, you know? Okay, so let's see here. Corey. Bad kids for sure exist. Oh, for sure. There are some kids that just unfortunately cannot be helped. That does exist. But the vast majority of the time, it's not it's not the kid's fault, right? Like there, there are going to be circumstances where either someone is like severely mentally disabled or they have some kind of like issue. Like 
they might legitimately be a psychopath. Um, you know, there might be some like weird developmental issues with their brain or something like that, right? But a lot of the time, the environment is the thing that causes a lot of the issues, right? Like if they had a better environment, they'd have a better chance. Um, it's not the the thing is is that the world is always shades of gray, right? It's it's never just like explicitly black and white. There are going to be situations where, yeah, there some kids are just going to be a fucking nightmare. Like I know kids that when they were like one or two years old, they were like breaking windows in cars and shit like that, right? Like they're like slamming shit into walls and doing all kinds of crazy shit, right? It's like it happens, you know? Have you seen the movie The Florida Project? No. Um, I want to try to finish the campaign before I end because I need to, I need to end stream a little early today, like I said before. I'm trying to finish it because I have to take care of some work stuff here very soon. Um, but yeah. But the vast majority of the time, it is it is environmental issues. Um, but yeah. How good do you think the new support gem return projectile will be with lightning arrow? It'll probably be like a 30 or 40 percent more damage multiplier, somewhere in that range, if I had to guess. Because it'll do full damage on the way out, and then probably like 50 percent less damage on the way back, meaning it'll just be like a decent a decent damage multiplier, and it'll work effectively for anything where you're scaling number of hits, right? Thing is, how you understand a mental health problems on kids doesn't equal bad. Yeah, I guess bad is probably not the right term. Maybe troubled or something like that. Bad is probably the wrong word for sure. That's fair. Um, because it, it isn't like they chose to be that way, right? But um more so what I mean is that there are there are kids that cannot really be helped, right? Like it, it regardless of their circumstances, um they, they do, they're going to struggle, right? Just for whatever reason. But yeah, you're right. Bad is probably not the right word. That's not what I wanted to click. I'm trying not to die to her this time. <laughs> That's, the, that's what I was trying to do there, because I died like three times to her last time. I'm trying not to do it there. Okay, so we don't need this mana flask anymore. I can put this on. Um, okay, let's see. That's a recovery one on low life. Okay, I just died to two random fucking little skeletons while I was swapping my flask. I didn't even see those things. That's cool. Very pog. Uh, where is my... Where's my anger? Come on, I'm just... My anger and my rage. Okay. Um, I've died a lot more on this one than the last character. Last character around here, I was at like six deaths. I'm at 15 here. All right. Yeah, the change that they made to mines where they work off of like reserving your mana pool kind of made me dislike mines, unfortunately. Because no unethical bows this time around. Have you seen my bow? This bow is more unethical than the ones I got yesterday, without a doubt. This bow is item level 58, and it's 514 DPS. Um, Poison SRS most likely is the only minion one I'm gonna do. And like, look at my resistances, dude. Like, look at the resistances I have on my gear. I'm at, like, almost capped resistances right now. And I have, like, 1,500 life. Please. Oh, 
That was so close. Remember, boys, as with all things in life, just because you went to school doesn't mean that you're good at your job. Crazy? I was crazy once. That thing put me in a room, a rubber room. If you like Baldur's Gate games, Baldur's Gate would probably be pretty good. Baldur's Gate would be pretty fun. Like either of those? Um, have you tried Rotato or Halls of Torment? I've been playing those a lot recently. Those have been very fun. I've been enjoying Brotato a lot. I've been getting pretty good at it. I'm at the point where I have like, um, I had to restart because I was playing it on mobile actually. I just wanted something to like play while I was like laying in bed and just you'd wanted to chill, you know? And uh, I had to restart because eventually I'm like, well, why don't I just use like the Steam thing on my tablet and use like a Bluetooth controller, right? But um, I'm at the point where on like difficulty five on Brotato, I can pretty consistently win with a lot of characters. I'm like working through the characters right now. Um, so yeah. Potato is pretty fun. Um, it's definitely one of those like get good type games though. Like as you get better, the game changes significantly. Yeah, I'm gonna have my uh, my moment sometime probably this weekend where I'm just like, all right, I need to do all of the chores and get everything 100% done because my house is gonna be a fucking disaster for the next three, three to four weeks, right? <laughs> I'm gonna be full time just videos, streaming, and nothing else, right? That is going to be my life. Honestly, you want to know the hardest part about League Start? I am the cook, right? I am the uh, I am the cook here. Who is trying? Bless her heart. But uh, I am the cook, right? And uh, when it's League Start time, not really cooking very much. The only thing I'm cooking is POBs, and uh, makes it a little bit difficult in the food department. So, uh, probably gonna be eating a lot of leftover curry, most likely. You meal prep? Sort of. I don't really meal prep, honestly. I just do the leftovers thing. Like, um, two days ago, I made my big giant Japanese curry thing. Um, and that feeds us for like three or four days. Yeah, just basically like, I just make rice or make noodles of some sort. Um, for a couple of days going forward and just eat off of that for a while and that works. Uh, the curry that I make is essentially, I do everything from scratch, um, cause I'm dumb like that. But uh, it's like, 
chop onions, put them in the pan, get them like translucent essentially. Um, salt to get the water coming out of them a little bit so they don't burn because I don't really want any color on them. Um, tiny bit of oil, uh, mushrooms, whatever is available at the time. Not delicate mushrooms, like I'm not going to get like, um, what are the name of those? Like one really random delicate mushroom. Uh, I don't remember the name of it. Oyster mushrooms, like not anything like oyster mushrooms, like a thicker mushroom that can actually like hold a little bit of, uh, you know, and take a little bit of heat and and sit in liquid and not fall apart. Mushrooms, um, celery, carrots, potatoes, soften in the pan for a little while. Um, and then uh, use my already made chicken stock that I made from boiling a chicken for like an hour and a half or so. Use the homemade stock. Put the chicken in there later and then I make a roux. Not shiitake though. Um, I typically don't use shiitakes because Goob actually doesn't like them. Um, I use the stock from the chicken. I take all of the little pieces that is available on the chicken and slice them into like biteable sizes, essentially. And then I put those in later, but I make the homemade, um, the homemade roux with, uh, just, you know, um, butter, flour, um, a good curry powder, a good garam masala. And then mix that in with the chicken stock and all the veggies and everything. Season it up and it's done. I'm not up to that. And then that lasts us for like three or four days most of the time. Um, I typically make like jasmine or basmati rice in the rice cooker. You know, some good sock if it's like jello. Yeah. Um, it's funny because like the sock sits for a little bit, right? While I'm like cooking the rest of the stuff. And when I go grab the stock, there, it's literally like you shake it and there's like a film on the top of it. Are roasting the carcass before too? Yeah, I could, but it's just, that's just so much work. Like it's already like a four hour process of doing everything. I know there's like little extra steps I could do to make it a little better. It's just like, it's just like, fuck me, bro. I'm, I'm already cooking for four hours. I don't want to do any more. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, um, what I could do is I could cook the chicken and then take the bones out and roast them and make another stock later. Like that could happen. But, um, but yeah, sometimes it's just like, I could, I, I have to limit how long that I sit in the kitchen and cook. Cause you know, but it's like three or four hours of like, not a hundred percent focused work. And then that's just food for the next couple of days. Um, if you want, you know, I could like fry an egg to put over top of it. Um, Maybe mix it with like some good Japanese mayo, um, a good hot sauce of some sort, just to change it up a little bit over the course of the days as it gets like, you know, less fresh. Is rice cooker worth it? If you cook rice a lot, absolutely. Like if you cook rice once a week, just buy even even a shitty rice cooker, right? Even if you just go on Amazon and buy like a twenty dollar rice cooker, absolutely. Because essentially all you do is um. All you do is, uh, what's it called? Um, you just toss the rice in there, you toss the water in there, salt it until it's like, basically like a flavored broth, and then just click the button, dude, and let it go. You don't have to think about anything and it'll be perfect when it's done. Yeah, you could use a pressure cooker that works as well. You could get like a, um, what's the name of it? Instant Pot, I think. Pressure cookers are magical, dude. If you want like really tender meat super quickly, pressure cooker is the way to go. And pressure cookers nowadays aren't like waiting time bombs, you know? Big Ducks cooking stream when? I've done cooking streams before. Um, I've thought about it, but it's like right now I'm in PoE mode. What, what I'm thinking of doing is that as I transition into like streaming and stuff more, I might do more like alternate content, if that makes sense. Um, like we could do like random cooking stuff, um, that kind of thing. Basically, I need to get like a system down to where I can do it without it being a pain in the ass, like having to set up a whole separate camera system and stuff. And I think the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to like call myself on Discord and then just like stream the like Discord footage or something like that, I think is probably the most straightforward way of going about it. 
Because, like, the problem that I run into a lot of time is just the, like, logistics of doing certain things is just so frustrating that I don't do it, right? And so many times that's, like, that's, like, the issue that I have, yeah? It's just, like, the setting up and the changing the shit and doing this and doing that just makes it so that I end up just not doing anything in the end because I'm just, like, I just cannot be fucked right now, right? So I, I need to figure out a way to not get frustrated there. Five hours isn't too bad. It's not with the final lab, but like five-ish hours. If I did lab and I one-shot it, and then I did the couple skill points, it's gonna be about five hours. That's not too bad. For campaign. But yeah, um... I'd like to think that I'm halfway decent at cooking. I'm not like a professional chef or anything. I'm just the cook that knows how to do a bunch of stuff. Like I don't, I don't like chop vegetables and stuff properly. I still do it pretty fast, but um, um, you know, I I know it is kind of a conundrum with the whole kid thing that the people who are best equipped to have kids tend to be the ones that don't do it, and then that kind of fucks us as a as a as humanity as a whole, but it's just like it just kind of sucks sometimes when society is so set up to absolutely screw people over as it is right now and how difficult it can be if you're like born into the wrong circumstances that it's like it's hard to want to be altruistic in that in such a broad scope. Like you <laughs> the fuck dude. No, probably not. Monka TOS, dude. Almost assuredly not. Yeah, dude, you have to pay for the only ducks for that. Sorry, gamer. Whoa, what is... What is going on? Oh, that's hurting me. You guys see that? You guys saw that, right? You saw my character, like, bugging the fuck out? That was hurting my eyes. I don't know what that was. That was very strange, whatever was going on there. Is it across the bridge? Or is it right here? Yeah, there was some kind of weird flickering shit going on. I don't know what the hell that was. All right, we're gonna kill Kataba and then I gotta be done for the day because I have some like stuff that I gotta take care of IRL and such before it gets too late. Um, we'll do lab and um, probably longer stream tomorrow. Most likely, we'll see what happens. I don't know, I can't promise. Um, the uh, We will do lab, we will do mapping, we'll do the skill point quests and we'll see if we can kill Eater and Exarch in Solo Cell Phone. Yeah, that goes. I don't know. Um, probably gonna come down to how good of a bow we get. But uh, yeah, went pretty well this time. Sorry for the short stream today. You know, only five hours today, not seven or eight, but it is what it is. But let's um. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> but uh, let's get Kataba down. Hit maps of 4.15 with lab. Pretty good, dude. Much better than little old me. For sure. But I'm not a gamer. Might be dead here. Maybe not. What's going on? Okay, that was weird. Could have easily done better if you sorted your first three acts. Yeah, they were pretty slow. I will agree. No. 
Oh, there's like nowhere to stand, dude. That sucks. There was like actually just nowhere to stand. Hey, what the hell was that, man? What is this? Why is there so much garbage? Oh, that's what it is. That brought you do so much less damage. Oh yeah, it's it's crazy how much damage it makes you do for sure. All right. So Kataba died at 4:49:30. That's not too bad. Um, but uh, we still got to do other stuff. So that's gonna be it for me today. I got uh, I got some IRL stuff that I got to do. Appreciate you coming hanging out with me, boys. Thank you, thank you, as always. Appreciate you, gamers. But yeah, um, be back tomorrow. Uh, we'll do mapping stuff, we'll do in-game stuff, and then we will probably work on the video and then move on to Cold Dot. And then we got patch notes after that. Take care, boys. Appreciate you. Make sure to follow the stream. Subscribe to YouTube. Take care. Appreciate you, gamers. Thank you for all the bits, all follows, all donors, all of the support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let me see if there was anything that happened. I missed a super chat yesterday. And I feel bad about that. Um, I missed the super chat yesterday, so I just want to quickly see if I missed one today. Sorry if I missed your super chat yesterday. I'm super sorry. Um, but I just don't have notifications for it. Appreciate you, boys. Uh, take care, gamers. And I will see you all later. Uh, gamers. And make sure that you pet Duckless in the chat on the way out.